Imagine living on the deadliest Minecraft server, with 100 other players setting traps, building fortified bases, and hunting for kills. Well today, I'll be trying to survive for the next week in a giant Minecraft battle royale. So will I be the last one standing in the finale of the series? And which players will I encounter along the way? With just one life, I was about to enter the toughest challenge. Okay, it's starting. Please let me get something good. After looting a chest with a diamond and some other basic items inside, I instantly started running from the cornucopia, and it seemed like I could could escape safely. Okay, I think I am good. Oh my god. But as I got further into the forest, three players who were hunting for early game kills started chasing me. Oh my. I then fell into a cave filled with water. You screwed that up, Silver. Going off his muffins, I can maybe boost you. This is not good. And I was hoping I could find a way back to the surface. But I reached a dead end. Silver, you're not gonna get away. Silver. Ow! What the, what the hell? hell? He hit me with a crossbow. Oh, he's up here, he's up here, he's up here. Oh my god. Oh, he has a puffer fish! Dude! Oh, come on! The flowing water is so annoying. I'm kind of low. I'm kind of low. Come on, Silver. We're gonna get you. I just need to get so far away. After just about escaping, I started running towards an airship structure, hoping I could escape up the ladder and use my crossbow to defend myself. You guys don't want to do this. I have a crossbow. Come on, Silver. Oh my. Though I'd managed to take one of them down, I was now out of arrows and the other two players started climbing up. And as both of them had weapons, I was in huge danger. Come here, Silver. Oh no. You can't run away forever. We're gonna avenge Tolmei. Wait, wait, he might. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, he's in here. He's in here. He's just... so good. <laughs> Silver, you up? Oh, wait, ah, there's a mob in here. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, I, I think he's, he's going up here. He's going up here. Yeah, yeah, he's going up here. Oh, I'll go back to you. I'll go up here. No, come up, come up. He's in here. Where is he going? He is. I then planned to break through the wall and get on top of the airship, but even more mobs appeared right next to me. Oh my. However, after blocking up, I finally broke through and started waiting to see if the enemy players followed me. Muffins, muffins, we can get the lanterns, then we can dig up. I'm decently sure he's on top, so I'm gonna just have to break it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Come on. What? Why are you so quiet, Silver? Oh my god. Did you just kill Liver? If I can just use this fishing rod. Silver, you're gonna regret that! Come on. Ah! Silver. Oh my god. Somehow the player was still alive and was now climbing down the ladder. So I started running, but a I'm random player appeared through the trees and decided on, to Silver. attack me as well. Oh my god! Who the hell's this? What? You scared me! Oh my god. No. Please. Where did you come from? The woods. Of course. Of course. Oh, come on. Oh my god, you're <laughs> But also, oh, what the? why are you, why are you chasing him? I want his pants. Well, and I want the heart. I, I just want to loot, mate. I just want to loot, mate. Okay, well, you can have his pants. Sorry. I can take his heart. Oh, boy. Don't let him get away. Why are you teaming up on me? Because you're the content creator. Oh, I'm not arrows. Silver. As I was pillaring up, I had an idea to get some payback and plan to use my fishing rod to make them take full damage. Do you have arrows? Oh, no, no, How many times does it take? No, 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 no. And somehow I managed to kill Captain Muffins, so I immediately jumped down to loot the items. Oh. Spencer! Oh, no, no, no. I have a sword now! <laughs> And guys, if you've ever wanted to play in events like these, I've just released my brand new Minecraft server, Hotplates, with a Battle Royale game mode just like these videos. And from today onwards, you can now connect to try the server out for yourself. Hotplate Battle Royale is a game mode where the goal is to be the last team standing on a giant map with custom world generation and new exciting structures to explore. And you'll begin the game by riding a dragon across the map and can glide down to begin preparing for PvP to enable after 15 minutes. You'll start with different items depending on which kit you select, and you'll also get a recipe book with a ton of custom custom crafts inside, including the legendary weapons from my past videos. Although it is quite difficult to win a battle royale in solo mode, we also have a civilization mode, which is a lot like some of my past videos, and this mode puts you into a large nation and there are also king elections, making winning a lot more possible with the right strategies. Hotplay also has server-wide proximity chats with customizable settings, and this makes gameplay way more exciting. Yo, Mega Death, I have a chest up here that I'm willing to let you loot. Ah, oh, nice. 
<laughs> There's also a bunch of exciting cosmetics to unlock, as well as a free battle pass that allows you to earn tokens to spend in the shop. And unlike pay to win Minecraft servers, we only have one donation rank, which is VIP. And this unlocks a bunch of cool perks, including being able to get VIP only cosmetics. And by owning this rank for multiple months, you can also unlock brand new rank colors, which look pretty epic in game. So be sure to connect to hoplite.gg on Minecraft Java Edition to try my brand new server. And by typing slash redeem BR3 in game, you'll instantly get five star levels and some coins to spend on in-game upgrades. I've also just released a brand new second channel where I'll be posting a ton of Battle Royale videos, so you should definitely subscribe to that to join the Before 100k club. Lastly, follow me on Twitch where I'm most likely streaming a Battle Royale right now. And now, let's continue. Spencer! <laughs> no, please, I just want the loot! I just want the loot, man! Oh my god. What even just happened? Finally, I was safe from the enemy players, and I'd now gained two extra hearts, as well as an insane amount of gear. Oh my. 35 iron. Look how much gear I have. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of here. However, I knew that there would still be many hostile teams lurking nearby, and I'd have to find some teammates to survive with quickly. So I then started running through the nearby forest to get further away from the cornucopia, and eventually came across a house that had been built by a nearby player. What the heck? Has someone built this thing? This looks like it was built by someone, dude. The plague is upon us. What? Dude, I don't even have a pickaxe. Oh my god, there's a player. Misty Rice. Yo, hello? Uh? Hello? Hello. What's up? How you doing? Doing something. Have you built a house in the first couple minutes of the game? What is that? Uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Damn, you're the fastest builder. That's crazy. You might want to go, buddy. Why? Whoa! Dude, are you threatening me? I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not even gonna PvP. I was gonna ask if you want to join my team. Yeah. Me and Misty then formed a team, and although he was very unpredictable, he seemed like a nice guy, and I decided I could trust him. My goal is to make a house. Okay. Then kill. I just got like two kills, and I have all of this. Yeah, I'm trusting you with this armor. Oh man. I'm kind of suspicious of you right now though, that's the thing. You did threaten me right after I found you. Would I really kill anybody? What do you think? Yeah, you only have that kind of sinister, intimidating skin. Yeah, I'm a plague doctor. I might kill some people and, and uh, sell their organs to the black market, but I'm not that hype. I then broke some logs, and me and Misty then crafted a set of iron tools. And we decided it would be best to start exploring, hoping to find some unlooted structures. We're still very close to the cornucopia, so if you want to get moving, I think that's a good idea. If we go this way, we'll get further away from the cornucopia, so that's less chance of being jumped. Misty, this is the question. If we see people, are we fighting or are we peaceful? Depends on the player. Okay, because I'm saying if we see people, getting extra hearts would be insanely good early on. I have two, by the way. I only have one extra heart. Oh, you have one extra? Yeah. You sneak attack, I guess. Damn, okay. After some more exploring, we then noticed a giant mushroom in the distance, and we decided to investigate. That could definitely have some good loot. Someone might use it as a base, though. Oh my, I just saw someone on top. Dude, what is that? hold up, hold up. Is that Mr. See What's Gaming? What the heck? Yo, 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 friendly? Yo! Friendly? We're friendly, we're friendly. This is, this is Misty. Damn. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> How <laughs> low are you? <laughs> Uh, half a heart. <laughs> oh my god. I hit god. the clutch. Alright, see what, you wanna join the team? Yeah, 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 for sure. See what is a YouTuber that I'm friends with, so straight away I knew he was trustworthy. And we were now in a team of three, which put us in a great position for surviving. And although there were many teams larger than us that would be dangerous later on, we had a really nice amount of gear and were prepared to continue exploring. This is the ultimate team. Yeah, I got chased off spawn by two really stacked people, so I have like a lot of stuff. There's iron if you want tools. All I got at spawn was food. So then I had to run because I was getting chased too. Did you find anything in this? Uh, just some random gear. I did see a giant factory though, a giant factory like structure, but I was scared to go alone. Now you have us. Here we go. Now I have backup, exactly. We then started heading towards the factory structure that Siwa had found, and this contained a bunch of deadly pillagers, so it wouldn't be easy to lose. However, confident that we had enough gear, we spotted it in the distance and prepared to enter. Oh yeah, there's a lot of mobs. Oh, okay. But there's so many! Can the there's Iron so Golem many. protect us? It's not even doing anything. The Iron Golem's ignoring- he's straight ignoring them! Dude! Okay, we're just gonna have to go in here. There's a whole army? Just get them all to shoot each other. I just got bad omen. <laughs> oh, dude. We got bad omen. This is not good. If we ever run into a village... We're gonna get straight up jumped. Holy... What? Wait, did one of you guys get that map? 
No. Just before we got to this structure, another player ran past and took the map that led to our woodland mansion. And this was pretty unfortunate as we could have used it to get totems. And they were actually a requirement for one of the four legendary weapons available at the cornucopia. These include the pufferfish cannon, which fires a barrage of pufferfish, the dragon katana, which allows you to teleport and gives permanent speed one, the emerald sword, which increases in damage depending on how many emeralds you have, and lastly, the hypnosis staff, which allows you to turn any mob in the game into a minion that fights for you, including bosses. However, luckily, later into the event, we ended up encountering the player with the map, so this mansion wasn't completely out of our reach. We then decided to search for chests inside of the factory, as we thought that we'd taken down all of the pillagers. However, three deadly vindicators and a ravager were waiting around the corner. Oh! Those guys will do crazy damage. Oh my god! Dude. Oh! No! No! Dude! No! Misty! Misty! No! Literally got two- Oh my god! Just run. Just run. Just run. <laughs> Misty! Oh. My god. Just as things were looking good for our team, we lost Misty and became a team of two. And now we would be in a lot more danger if outnumbered in fights later on. However, Misty did drop a heart, which would be able to help us survive. And as we'd come this far, we pushed forward into the factory. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have, uh... He dropped a heart. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Shoot, you want me to Poor use it? Oh, Misty. Yeah, I, I already have two. You got it. I reckon we just get in and block up. Just get through this. I know it's risky, okay, okay. but I'm pretty sure we've taken all of them out, so... Quick, quick! See what? Okay, okay. And then take these things down. Oh, yo, come look at this chest. Look at this. Oh my god. Nine diamonds. Well, you found it. That so. is absurd. That is absurd. Yo, there's a spawner right here. Chest right here. Oh my god. Flame book. That's insane. Dude. Flame. That's insane. Dude, if we find good trades, we're literally so rich right now. Oh, hold up. Uh, I see iron ore, and I think I just saw some in this pit could be kind of good. Oh yeah, look at that. We now had enough iron to craft an anvil as soon as we started smelting. And this would mean that I could put the flame book that we just found on a bow to get a very strong weapon. However, our attention was then drawn to a player in the distance. I see somebody over there. I reckon we go over towards him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're down a teammate. We need Misty too. We need Misty too. <laughs> You're calling him Misty too? <laughs> yeah, we need Misty too. We just Should lost we just start Misty. calling him Misty? <laughs> yeah. Puts the player ran straight into the forest and disappeared. So we would have to find more teammates another time. Maybe holding out my iron sword wasn't the, the best, uh... True. And for now, we decided it would be best to go on a mining trip and get an enchantment table, then hopefully find some more diamonds to increase our gear, in case we were attacked by hostile players. That flame book will be insane if we can get an anvil, so... At some point, we need a Misty too. We can't just be a team of two. We'll get clapped. As soon as we see somebody, we just need to approach them in a friendly way. We then started digging down, hoping to find a cave with diamonds inside, and see what then crafted his first piece of diamond armor. I'm upgrading, baby. Nice. Oh, okay. Diamond vein right here. Oh, wow. Not gonna lie, this kind of looks like a one vein. Please be two. Dude! No! Literally just one more and we have an enchant table. Surely we can find that in a cave like this. Oh, I just had a spider. Oh my god. No way. Wait, wait, wait. Mineshaft at the most insane Y level. But be so careful because there's definitely cave spiders. That's so huge. We can get cobwebs. Diamond's right here. There we go. Oh, perfect. I think it was just a one vein, but obviously that's... Oh, two. Three. <laughs> Let's go. We are about to move up in the world. We then discovered a lava pool, so I crafted a diamond pickaxe and started mining obsidian so that we could make an enchantment table. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Sorry. All right, that's Sorry. it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right, I'm, sorry, that's, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going away, I'm going away. <laughs> no, no, no. And there we go. Okay, four obsidian, two diamonds like this, and enchanting table. Okay, I'm going to try a enchant on my sword. I got sharp. Sweeping edge one. Alright, we take that. I'll take it. We then smelted all of our iron and could finally craft an anvil. 36 iron, and I also have enough gold to make a gapple. Anvil right here. Oh, flame. There we go. Oh, dude, I should have enchanted it, but I guess we don't have any lapis, so it is just good to get it enchanted now. We then started searching for some lapis ore, but instead, we came across some unusual blocks. What the heck? I found something up here. Okay. Oh my. What the heck? Structure right here. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh my. <gasps> dude, dude, be quiet, be quiet. We 
just heard the voices of another team, who were currently searching the other side of this giant underground structure. And as almost all of the chests inside contained extremely powerful diamond armor and weapons, we'd be in huge danger if they spotted us. No, I, I think I heard somebody too. I think I saw them for a second. What if we just back out like over here for a sec and Sean our gear? I got you a shot three sword, so. Yeah, yeah, no, I have it. That's insane. What on earth? Oh, this is this is the structure too. Oh my god, I found a mending iron sword. Dude! What? This is the creepiest thing! It literally looks like um our teammate. It's Misty's dead body. No, genuinely, it has Misty's face. No, it's got Misty's face. Maybe this place is a blessing by Misty. See, they're not even attacking us. Okay, let's break that spawner. If we had to fight those for real, I feel like they're gonna destroy us. That they take like seven hits of my sharp three sword. Dude, oh my god, depth strider two iron boots. So much iron, bones so we can grow stuff. Just be really careful because I I mean, maybe that was just people like passing by on the surface. Maybe. Dude, this is the strangest structure I've ever seen. Oh my god, dripstone too. I reckon we just collect all this dripstone if we want to make a trap in our base later. While there's nobody nearby, let's just do some enchanting as well. I'm gonna put efficiency on my pickaxe. It might be a play to just make another diamond sword right now because we don't have any books. Sharpness one, there we go. And sharpness two, sweeping edge one. Let's put on breaking one on my helmet. We then mined all of the nearby dripstone as I had a really cool idea for me and Seawatt's base that involved a massive sand trap. And later on, this trap ended up making for some crazy moments. This is a good start, but I think we're gonna need more than this. After collecting the dripstone, we hoped that the players we heard before were gone. So we decided to re-enter the structure and search for some more chests. If we do see people, I I think we just need to be really, really careful. If we got a diamond chest plate from one chest, if there are people who are looting the rest of this structure, they're full diamond, basically. Or at least they're going to be very stacked. Uh, if we see anybody, are we running or are we fighting? I don't know, because hearts are just so important. So, like, it depends on their gear. Yeah. We then heard the enemy voices again, and as we still hadn't seen them, we had no idea whether we had enough gear to take them in a fight. So we started backing away. They're down this way. And after digging a small escape tunnel, we changed direction, planning to retreat back the way we came, not realizing the enemy players were directly above us. Oh my god, oh. what was that? Oh god. Just god. come down poisoned. here, see what. See what. Yeah. I'm poisoned in levitation. On this way. Yeah, over here. Let's go, let's go. Oh, this way, this way, this way. See what. Careful though, careful, careful. Like a Start digging. Up. Just go through here. Go through here. Yeah, just regen, regen. Regen first, regen first. The players then threw down strength, regeneration, and fire resistance potions, making them much more lethal and drop down to attack. These players are good, so just be careful. I'm down, just I'm just down. get out of the cave. Oh my god. That weapon's hard though. Okay. Run, run, run. Just run, see what. Good shot, good shot. Oh, hit one twice, hit one oh my twice. god, just run. Hit see what twice. I've got cobwebs. I'll boost you, I'll boost you. I've just keep running, keep running, keep running. No, we're getting free hits, just keep going, keep going. Yep. You have keep an axe, up. I have an axe in the hellfire, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. come. We got a I'm using haste, I'm using haste. I don't have an axe. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Move, 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 move. I love it. You got it back. He's on fire, he doesn't have, he doesn't have war, he doesn't have war. Go. I have water for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Oh, they're like 10 blocks away though. I know, I'm using haste. We can catch up for use haste though. Okay, do you have a diamond pickaxe as well? Yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do. Okay, I was gonna say, I think it's mine because you have haste, but... Let's see what... This way, this way, this way. They're planting something, he's whispering. Careful, careful, other. Don't dig in a one, one, one by one. Do not yeah. dig in a one by one, like make it two okay. by two. Okay, Please. okay. One of them gapped, I heard a... I heard a... Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm kinda low, wait, 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 wait. I have to eat real quick. But yeah, they're in a cave, they're in a cave. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Just dig up, dig up. Dude, what? Okay. I'm a little bit behind. Oh, they're going up, they're going up! Dude, where is the surface? We have to be close. I'm gonna try to see if I can beat them to the surface, maybe. Hey, there's cobble right here. Dig up on this cobble, right here. Oh, he's placing wood. See what's not shifted, I see him, I see him. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally on him. He lobbed me, he lobbed me! Just run, just run, just run! All three of them are here, just keep running. I'm following you, Seawatt. I'm down to half a heart. I'm down to half a heart. I'm on surface, I'm on surface. I'm on half hearts. 
Yeah, we're, 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 we're chasing oh, them. We're chasing you, them. Do you, do you, any of you have a bow? You have a bow? No, 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 I don't. Just keep running, Siwa. If you, if you see mobs, just kill them. Oh my god. No! Run! I'm behind him. I'm catching up. I was now completely out of food and wasn't able to regenerate while Seawatt was one hit away from death. And it was looking like this was the end. Go in that thing, go in that thing. I think that's where we just came from. Wait, wait, wait. They said they just came. They might have a trap or something. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Wait, I have Death Strider. Just, just escape Seawatt. Just escape, just escape. I'm gonna go for Seawatt. I'm yeah. going for Seawatt. You guys chase them over Seawatt. Okay. Be careful, Soup. They might have a trap in there. Uh, he has Death Strider yeah. at least two. I think we're okay. I don't know where you went though. Yeah, come on, keep chasing me, guys. They're just about to get me. Do you have a bow? Dude, is out. I can't. I can't. You're by yourself, you're by yourself. I'm here. I am fine. I hear him I hear him digging, I don't see his name tag though. Seawatts then managed to hide in a wall and was currently safe from Sue. However, I now had two very stacked players hunting me down, still with no way to regenerate, and I was just one hit away from death. He's getting away. We can we can catch up to this. We can catch up to this. Come here. Behind you. Like, how I wasted your time. Oh, you need food. I blocked up his wall. I blocked up his wall. I'm stuck though. I'm stuck. I'm you're facing him still. Yeah, you're by yourself. Yep. Dude. Dude, the depth strider is so annoying. Yeah. Do you actually have any wood as well? I don't have any. Uh, I was gonna say we could make a clean boat, but I, I've only You could, you could. You can try to mine some wood really quick. I can drop you my axe, I'll keep chasing him. Just in case he goes to water again. That's true. There's still a river here though. Oh my god. As they slowly got closer, while I struggled to keep enough hunger to sprint, it seemed like I was out of options. So as a very last resort, I decided to make them an offer. Can we cut a deal? What's what's your deal? What's the deal? If I drop the diamond chest plate, will you leave me alone? Yes, yes. What do you yeah, think? Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. be full damage. You, you didn't have, yeah, you didn't have a damage chest plate, yeah. Just drop it. However, before dropping them anything, I wanted to stall for as long as possible just to see if there was any last chance I could escape. Drop the chest plate or you die. Point. You don't want to do this. Food at one point. Oh, you, you know what? Actually, oh, oh my goodness. This guy, wow. wait, fish, I forgot. He has a flame bow. No, no, you don't need that. As I now gained some distance, I then looked at a chest hoping to find some food. But instead, it led to today's sponsor, Honkai Star Rail, which is a free-to-play cross-platform role-playing game available on all of your favorite platforms, which now also includes PlayStation 5. In Honkai Star Rail, you'll set out on a journey across a giant sci-fi universe where you can choose from over 20 different characters, all with their own element and playstyle. By exploring the rich lore of this universe, you can find treasure chests, solve puzzles, and complete quests to level up. And there's also an exciting turn-based battle system that's both easy to pick up and very satisfying to master. Honkai Star Rail also saves your progress across platforms, so you can hop onto your phone whenever you want to continue your adventure. And with Honkai Star Rail's brand new PlayStation 5 release, you can now play the first ever free-to-play JRPG with 4K resolution and very high performance. The brand new 1.4 update also means you can unlock a limited-time 5-star hero, Jingliu, who has powerful ice abilities, as well as the brand new 5-star character duo Topaz and Nami, who Topaz summons for support in battle. So, if you haven't already, download Honkai Star Rail using the link in the description to experience these brand new characters. And by using the code on screen, you'll get a free 50 stellar jades. And now, let's continue. Drop your chest plate and your bow. Okay, I give up, I give up. Yep, yep. Okay, you'll let yep. me- Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. We'll let you live if you drop the chest plate. The chest plate? And the, and the bow. If it makes you feel better, I could even take off my armor and walk up to you with no armor off when you drop it. Will that make you feel better? Safer? Uh... <laughs> King Wooly! <laughs> King! King Wooly! Yo, yo, save me! No! No! King Wooly! Put the boat down, fish! Put the boat down! King! King, please! Where did Wooly come from? King Wooly, help me, help me! Please! Okay. It's no, it's no go! Go! Alright. What is happening? We got a place to go. We just gotta start Where did going. He come from? Oh my god, those guys were chasing me for so long. Are they still chasing? There's a hill up. I can't see them anymore. You wanna stop here and just go? Yeah, let's run. I'm on one heart right now. Yeah, take the gamble. I honestly couldn't believe what just happened. Out of nowhere, this player named King Wooly had saved my life, and he then gave me enough food to finally start regenerating again. Dude. Alright, let's let's book it. Do you have a team? Uh, no. So I have a teammate and he got chased underground, and I think he's literally just hiding right now. So if you want to join up with me and him, we can try track him down. 
Yeah, sure. So, King Willy then joined our team, and as soon as we reunited with SeaWatts, our team would finally stand a chance in fights again. Dude, how were you even running behind them? Why can I say I'm in all the right places at the right time? <laughs> We just heard another player's microphone, and immediately we started sneaking towards the sound to investigate. Yo, show yourself whoever's there. There's multiple people, by the way. Maybe we just believe. Yeah, I think that's a safe option. We then continued through the forest to try and get even further away from the players hunting us before, and eventually we ran into the nearby player who was alone in iron armor. Yo. He's running. Oh, they're running. All right. Rest in peace. I should tell him in chat, yeah, whoever's in full iron, I'm after you. Okay, we need to meet up with Siwa. Right now, all I want to do is set up a base and uh, get like a good enchanting station. We can get something secure built with a trap. I actually had a team at the start and then they all died. I don't know what happened. Oh boy. Yeah, we just got to find Siwa, set up a trap, and then as long as we chill near the trap, we are safe. See what then sent me his coordinates, so cautiously we started heading in his direction, hoping we didn't run into any hostile teams. And eventually, King Willy spotted something ahead of us. There's a, like a little town up here. Okay, maybe it's a village. Maybe it has food. I mean, apparently this is where See what is. Oh, there's something here. I'm sorry, I need the food. Oh my god, I thought those were players. Holy, what the heck? If we can get these items though, just be really careful. They do. Oh, they don't do that much. I mean, we can get some XP from this, though. Yeah. Let's just check if the structure's looted, because... Oh, hold up, hold up. I see someone. Oh, that's see what? See what? Yo! Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, what's up? He survived. Yeah, I survived. That was crazy, dude. How, how did you survive? This right here is how I survived. King Wooly pulled up in a boat and uh, saved the day. It was honestly <laughs> the most insane moment. He he started fighting uh, one of the full diamond guys. So really I was like looting structures. I found a map. Oh, Speed, this is the Woodland Explorer map from the Pillager Outpost. No way. We then found out that King Wooly was the player who looted the Woodland Mansion map, meaning later on our team could travel there and all get totems. Not only that, but as soon as we made the journey to the Cornucopia to view the legendary weapon requirements, we discovered that the Emerald Sword was within our reach. Oh, yo. Some potatoes. Nice. Good find. We're gonna find out that was taken from like one of the most OP teams later and Oh, They're gonna come for us. Okay, so all we gotta do right now is just find a good spot to uh, make a base. Willie, what's your thoughts on killing sheep in Minecraft? Uh, it really depends if I'm hungry enough. That's me, but with humans. <laughs> Wait, what did, he, what did he just say? <laughs> did he just say he eats- We then came across a beach area surrounded by trees, and instantly we knew this was the perfect location for building. Yo, look how perfect this spot is for building like a sand trap. Yeah. Yeah, this is money. And as day one of the event was now coming to an end, Wooly and Seawatts then had to log off for the night. And I decided to log off too. Ah, just kidding. I uh, stayed online to make sure we had a trap prepared for the next day. And after chopping down a ton of trees, I finally begun building. The next day, see what joined the server first, so I decided to give him a tour of our brand new base. Yo. Yo. I've been building oh, for a couple hours. This is our base? This is goaded. If you take a look down there, that is the death pit. Oh, Wooly's here too. Yo. Welcome back, Wooly. Hello. So check it out. This is the base. Be, no, be oh, careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> oh my god. You see how there's a lever here? So if somebody's like crouching over the edge to look down, it basically pulls this layer away and uh, they fall into the pit. And then want to see something kind of funny? Yeah. Yeah. So I actually started making a massive like sand trap right behind this, but I decided it was going to take me like all night. Oh my god, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, maybe on like day three, we could set something up there. And then this is the real base. Okay, if you guys drop down here. I will fail this water bucket clutch. There's water oh, down here. <laughs> that, that would be psychopathic. <laughs> oh, we're set up. Yeah. You were grinding. So yeah, this is my thoughts right now. So we could uh, enchant some fishing rods and hang out here. And then if full diamond people pull up to our base, we could get some free full diamond, you know? Oh, for sure. How strong is this trap? Would, th would this kill somebody in full enchanted diamond? Yeah, this will insta-kill. We decided that we were going to spend the next hour fishing to try to get some OP items and potentially trap some players. But as we currently didn't have enough levels to get any good enchantments, we would have to begin fishing with unenchanted rods. <laughs> King Willy. Hey, me and King Willy are on the grind. Oh, yo, I get fortune one if I um enchant a book at level 20. Oh, that's goaded. I'm just going to upgrade some of my stuff then, so... 
That gives me sharpness three, and I have power one flame. Uh, let me go try to kill some animals. If I get two levels, I can get a, or only one level, I get lure one. We then returned to the surface and started fishing as well as killing mobs for XP. But this ended up being kind of slow. However, we then noticed a small structure through the trees. And luckily this actually had mob spawners inside. Well, does anyone want to come with me and see if this thing is looted? Cause there's like a structure up here. Sure, I'll come with you. However, this structure actually contained a boss called the Killer Bunny, which actually had the same amount of health as the Wither. It definitely looks looted. Question is, is it completely looted? Oh, I hear spiders. Okay. Dude, please say there's like a spawner. Yo, guys, I think there's a spawner here. Oh, let's go. Yeah, there's spawners. Let's go. It's perfect. Oh my god, the killer bunny! The killer bunny! The killer bunny! Oh, no, no, no. That's Get out rare. Of there. Get out of there, bro. Wait, we gotta kill this thing. What if it drops something good? Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta get the killer bunny in a cold blood. It's the only way. Oh. Bro, this bunny's fast as heck. Oh my what god. What the heck? Who would have known we lived next to an evil creature like this? Oh, I got it. I got a hidden. Oh my god. Oh, see what? Be careful. Be careful. Wait, what if we get power. it in lava? Oh, yes. Oh, you got it. Let's, let's be so careful strong. not to get the uh, loot burn. How much health does this damn thing have? Bro, he's stronger than the end oh, dragon. It's so fast. Come on. It's, it's playing with us. Oh my god. Play with this food. <laughs> I'm just going to wait till we. Right, look out. Yes! Oh my god, 10 diamonds! What? Whoa. I got seven from that chest up there. Oh my god, we are rich. Where are these spider spawners at? Uh, they're above us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Cave spiders. Dude, I might have to break this cave spider spawner. These these things are just so that OP. That is the reason I'm gonna do it. I'm just, yeah, just go for it. Response. Oh, there's uh, another chest. Oh, it doesn't have diamonds in it. I hear skeletons, by the way. I don't know where these skeleton sounds are coming from. Okay, real quick, I'm actually going to craft some armor. I'm going to go for a helmet and then boots. And then Wooly, you should definitely take the rest and get like a chest plate or something. After upgrading me and King Wooly's armor, I finally discovered the area with skeletons, which contained another extremely OP chest. Oh, it's literally right here, dude. This is good though. We can get like lots of uh, materials from this. Do you want the book? Oh my God, even more diamonds. This structure is insane. Yo. We then started grinding these spawners and eventually I got all the way to 18 levels. Okay, after this round of mobs, I think I'm just going to break the skeleton spawner. Okay, I'm uh, 18. There we go. And finally, we return to our base to start enchanting. I'm not going to lie. I actually think somebody went there before and got killed by the killer bunny because I saw blocks placed. I believe in myself. I don't need the block. I'm putting it down. I do not believe in you. <laughs> but just as I was about to enchant my fishing rod, a player appeared above our base. Oh, I just heard someone. You know what to do. You know. I heard someone that wasn't you guys here. Yo, hello. Yo. This was the perfect opportunity to get our first trap kill. So ready to activate the sand trap, we then started climbing the ladder. However, Seawoods then realized this voice was familiar. Yo, wait, no way. Yo. That's Grox. Can you hear me? Yo. Oh, it's nah. Grox. What the Yo. heck? You don't even have any armor on. What? Yo. Dude, I was about to tr try and trap I you. I have no clue who you are. Bro. Grox, he nah, doesn't nah, have nah, any nah. armor. I come in peace. I come in peace. Grox is actually a creator that me and Seawoods are friends with. And I then realized that Seawoods had given him our quarter so that he could join up with us. And as today was his first day on the server, he currently had no armor. Yeah, so I've just kind of been wandering around and uh, I, I have one teammate, but I, I had to leave him in the boat over there. He's basically been, it's just been me, me and him the whole time. Um, what the heck? Luckily, Grox was a player we could trust, and as long as his teammate was also trustworthy, we could become a team of five, which would be perfect for surviving until the end. Do you guys want to come with me or to come get him? He's probably scared. He's helped me out so much, bro. Like, all I have is emeralds. Take some of this yeah, before yeah, yeah, we, yeah. uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was chill like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, c come over here. Meet Jamal. Yo! What the heck? Yeah, bro. He... You would have known that your teammate was he a villager. He's me out so much, bro. Hey, hey, Jamal, get out of the boat real quick, Jamal. What, Jamal? I said get out of the boat. Hey, I said get out. Yo! Yo! <laughs> what? All right, all right. Just forget it, bro. Just forget it. I, I got everything from him already. I, I, I got, I'm stacked with emeralds, bro. Let's go. So we then became a team of four with Jamal now in the afterlife. But with Grox now on our team, we'd stand a much better chance of surviving as soon as he was geared up. So we took him to our base to do some enchanting. Oh, you got spikes down there. Okay, that's perfect. When I head down, you can get uh, your stuff enchanted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, one Bruh. problem. I have zero yeah, levels. No, nah, Jamal, Jamal didn't drop any XP. I'll do a level one for you uh, to cycle this. I I can get luck of the C1 right now if I enchant. All right, then I, then you can fuse it with this too. Oh, yo, okay. Luck of the C1. Okay, 
We have one good fishing rod right now. We then plan to head to the cornucopia to check out the legendary weapon requirements, as they had just become visible at the beginning of the day. However, as we knew that many other teams would also be traveling there, we decided to wait a bit longer and do some fishing, hoping to get something good. And one of us actually did end up catching a rare item. Okay, watch this. Me and Willy both have to do one catch each, and right. one of them is going to be OP. Yo! I'm putting my hand in the basket. Okay. I'm about to get a flame bow. I got a raw salmon. Uh, Alright, Willy. Yeah, I'm gonna get a trip while you look. It's, it's cause it's it's charging up something good. It's charging up something good. Yeah, it's gotta be this. Alright, yes. Brox. <laughs> Give Brox I a got try. the card game. Alright. Alright, this better be a flame bow. I want a flame bow. Trust me, this is the one. This one's gonna be insane. Are you, nah, you, are are you serious? That one. I wasn't. I wasn't feeling that one. I wasn't feeling. Let it cook more. Let it cook more. I wasn't feeling it. Oh my god. Nah, this is the one now. This is the one. Yo! No. no way. Let's go. Let's go. That's equated to like five potatoes. Oh my gosh. That was a success. Are we ready to head to mid? Yeah. We then considered splitting up so that two of us could continue fishing with our luck of the sea fishing rod. But Willy suggested that we all stick together. I think Rox could come with us as well. I mean, we're just going there to do a screenshot. We're not going to be there to fight anybody. Okay. I think we've got strength in numbers. So. And sticking together ended up being a very good decision as a team of players were lurking in the forest near our base. And when we started traveling to the cornucopia we ended up spotting their name tags yo, yo shh. guys 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 i just saw name tags should we try and get some kills right here yeah we definitely should yeah test out the base yeah if this goes wrong you know what to do retreat after hearing our voices the enemy players started running back to a floating island where their base was located and they started hiding hoping we'd run past them oh they're up there i see them i see them they're on the island, oh, uh, island. the one i saw was just full iron moment. you do not let them see us Okay. Shh, keep quiet, keep quiet. Oh yeah, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. We then silently climbed up the ladder, planning to get some extra hearts and diamond armor, ready to attack. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Wait, is that silver? Oh, oh dear. Get him, get him! No. You're going down, you're going down. Ouch. I'm sorry, dude. I have Death Strider. Hey. You're done. Get him! Full diamond! Get him, Wooly! Get him! He's, he's, he gaffled, he gaffled. Get him, Wooly! Bro, that's so much free diamond. Yeah. Potato yeah, guy, I'm I sorry. I don't even recognize him as a person. Like... <laughs> Let's go, free diamond! He has so many gaffles. Stop eating gaffles. No, I don't actually have any gaffles. Potato Wait, guy, I'm sorry. Did you kill you? Wait. Oh, no! Oh! Get the loot! Dude! The loot. This kill meant I now had enough diamonds to craft some leggings. And Grox could also now upgrade his armor, as well as gain an extra heart. Let's go! That was a good kill. Did any of you oh, pick up thanks. a knockback one diamond sword? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why is your sword got knockback <laughs> on it? Uh, because I, I couldn't get sharp. <laughs> I couldn't afford it when I was in Oh, but Classic Wooly. Actually, that guy had a teammate. Are we just- we gotta go back. You no, think he's still up there, Speed, or you think he ran? He probably ran. Everyone be quiet and let's see if we can hear him just in case. As we couldn't hear any voices below the floating island, we decided that it was finally time to travel to the cornucopia and look at the legendary weapon requirements, as most other teams had now left. Let's just be careful, check there's no one. If people appear, just run straight back to the base. Dragon Katana, 32 diamonds, Dragon Egg, okay. This won't be obtainable till like day three when the end opens, so Hypnosis stuff. Nether Star, 24 blocks of gold, Netherite Inga, okay. So we can't get that till the nether opens later. Dude. I'm pretty sure I just still play. Okay, that's full diamond people like running right there. Oh, okay, do we want to fight that or? I honestly think we just play it safe right now because the most important thing is just going to that mansion. Let me just try screenshot this one. That is the most perfect recipe. Totem Von Dying blocks of emeralds. Don't you already have some, Grox? Yeah, yeah, I got some emeralds. Okay, there's one more. Pufferfish cannon. Yo, that one's obtainable. This one's kind of good too. If we're going to be doing fishing, 128 pufferfish and TNT. Let's note that as well, because we could even try and get two. Currently, the Dragon Katana and Hypnosis staff weren't obtainable, as the Nether and End Dimensions were locked until later into the event. And this meant that a bunch of different teams would be trying to get the materials for the Emerald Sword and Pufferfish Cannon. So knowing we had no time to waste, we decided to head straight to the mansion to collect totems. Alright, so so we're going for the Emerald Sword then. That seems like the most reasonable. So what are you, what are you trying to do first? Rush the mansion or...? Yeah, I honestly think, since we have this Diamond Domino, if we just, like, start 
following that map and just go straight for the mansion. Because we could try and we could try and be the first team with a legendary weapon. Grox, where did you get Jamal from? Because if there's a place with villagers, that's like exactly what we need. Bro, so literally there's um ships with villagers. So we could probably get some good trades there. Luckily, Grox already had the coordinates of some villagers that we could trade with for the emerald blocks, bookshelves, and XP bottles. And as the nether was opening in just under an hour, we considered traveling there straight after we looted the mansion to mine a bunch of gold that we could then trade for emeralds. I reckon we go mansion first, and then if you know a place of villagers, we can go there like right after. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we actually know if we're going the right way? Wooly. No, who's got the map? Lead. Lead. <laughs> to be honest, I'm pretty bad with maps. Do maps always point north? Is that how they work? We want to go like... Yeah, basically just diagonal, I think. Wait, so after we go to the Woodland Mansion, we're going to go see Jamal's family. Yeah, let's go. Somebody's going to have to break the news to them. <laughs> they don't need to know what happened. By the way, I saw some people in the uh, event Discord saying they're trading, they're selling emeralds and stuff. So if we want to try to get emeralds like oh. fast, we could try seeing what they're up to. Try to do like a exchange. Well, maybe we'll have pieces of other legendary items and we can like swap with a team that has emeralds, you know? Yeah, or if we get like an extra totem or something, we can try it. True totems, that's really valuable. Them. Damn, okay, Willie so, yeah. said it, not me. We could scam them. We definitely could. I think the first step is just to get totems to get them interested. Yeah. I was trying to think what our bargaining chip would be. That's probably our best bargaining chip. After some traveling, we then spotted some horses, and as we had two saddles, we decided to tame them, hoping we could find some more saddles along the way. And luckily, there was a way that we could get another one. Yo, King Willie. We finally found your brothers. Oh, my people. Uh, this hey. is where I found the map while I was out exploring. Side note, there's a dude right there. What the heck? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I think we, I think we try it. I, I don't want no trying going on. Hold up. All right, get over here. Get over here. Yo. Give us your horse and we won't Give kill us you. the horse and we will let you live. Why do you want the horse? Because we need it. <laughs> yeah, we need it. Yeah. And if you have it, give us a second saddle as well. I mean, you can have the horse. I just got him. All right, do you have another saddle? No, I don't. Um, but now I give have... us your armor. Wait, yeah, ha I have any emeralds. Drop the drop the chest plate as well. Bro, chest are you for emeralds. real? Chest, we need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, we'll give you this in exchange. Give us the enchanted one. Okay, whatever. Like, it, 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 this is not worth no, it. I promise you. Give us, you. give us the other chest plate this as well. This is the second time I've been robbed. Why <laughs> yeah, are no, you guys doing? One. Give us, no, a, give us the other one. I'll give you something <laughs> in return. I'll give Hold you something in return. Wants. You want this? You want this chest plate? Hold up. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah give yeah. us that one too. Oh my god. I'll give you something. All right. Thanks. This, this was good. Good deal. All right. If hey, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pay. We'll pay you back for this horse if we see you again. We'll pay you back one day. Stewart's now had a protection for chest plates, and although we had just robbed sideways slabs. We hoped that he'd at least appreciate that we spared his life. Dude, what a kind guy. I'm so glad he gave us his horse. Then, just as we continued running to the mansion, Brooks realized he had something very useful in his inventory. I'm a complete yeah, a nice guy, idiot. I, I have a saddle in my inventory right now. Wait, for Yo! real? Yeah. Alright, give that to Willy. Wait, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah over here, wait, wait, over here. Wait, we're the, Dude, we're about to find spot. this mansion so fast. Yo, stay back. Sideways. Yo, 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 I'm going this way. I'm going this way. So, Willie then tamed a horse, and we continued traveling towards the mansion until we eventually reached a jungle that was right next to the Dark Oak Forest we were looking for. Oh, yo, jungle temple right here. Oh, for real? Is it one of the custom ones, or is it... No, this is just a... Oh, there's a custom one right next to it. Okay, because I know the custom ones can spawn tons of diamonds. Yo, what? Look out for the trap in there, though. Oh, emeralds right here? Oh, nice. We need that. Oh, no. Gold right here. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, let's go cheating. to the. Let's check this thing. As a person who's been in this one, is where you sacrifice kind of someone. In here, and diamonds and diamond ore armor. Holy! I found some emeralds. Yeah, oh, guys, back. zombies. Iceberger spawner. Oh, the the chest over here. Okay. They're holding iron blocks. Oh, what? Oh, diamond horse armor for my horse. Let's go. I'll take that. How many diamonds yeah, did you get, Wooly? I got five. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we're definitely getting close. We're moving so much on the map. Wait, that means we gotta be right next to it, basically. Dark Oak Forest right here. This is actually nuts, though. Literally the beginning of day two, and we have a woodland mansion. Huge. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready for this? All we had to do now was take down the evokers inside of this mansion for totems, then trade with villagers for the remaining emerald sword requirements. However, it was then announced that the nether would be opening in just 10 minutes. Okay. Shoot. That means one of the legendary weapons just became available. And as there was so much valuable loot inside of nether structures, we wanted to try and loot this mansion quickly, then travel through when it opened. I'm just thinking, if we rush the nether and get a ton of gold from a bastion, then trade for emeralds, we could get the emerald sword like way faster. I don't know. The thing is it's kind of risky though so what do you guys i mean i'd be down to oh, send okay, it okay. let's just go in at the same time just in case like it's insanely dangerous i already hear some pillagers i hear something around this corner 
Oh my god, a Voco right here. Go, 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 go. Totem, literally in like oh, one second. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What, what is that thing? What the heck? Get it. Dude, what? What is that? Be careful. Oh my god, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's little, little things. Oh, there's an Avoka. Yo. Okay. Yo, that actually They're did Grux. a lot of They're damage. Grux. Yo. Watch out, Yo. watch out, watch out. Guys, there's I'm an Avoka. So Just Grux, oh. take this if you need. Okay, okay. I got a totem. Nice. Dude, two totems already. If we can get a thud, that would be insane. I just got some gold, some arrows. Oh boy, there's an, there's an evoker on me. Wait, if there's another evoker. Oh my god, there's another evoker right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna try and drop them. Dude, another totem. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh my god. Dude. What'd you get? More totems. Let's go. We now had four totems, which was enough for the emerald sword while still having two spare to keep us alive. Not only that, but we could still obtain one more, even rarer totem, as underneath this mansion was an area with valuable chests and a boss that drops an enchanted totem called the Adjudicator. And this would be very valuable for trading with the team selling emerald blocks. But the nether dimension then opened. Oh. oh, okay. We could either go for the boss or we could just go straight to the nether. What does the enchanted totem do? It's like an even more powerful totem. I think we should try it. If we get five totems, our team will be like... We'll be stacked. Rich. So, planning to take down the boss as fast as we could before other teams looted all of the nether structures, we made our way to the staircase and traveled down. Yeah, this is it right here. I was gonna try right, to buy the clutch, but I don't think I should. Keep the totems ready. Spider spawning. Oh, dude. Efficiency 2 on breaking diamond pick and some... Enchanting bottles. Oh, the enchanting oh, bottles were good. for a recipe. I think we need those yeah, yeah, yeah. for the emerald good. sword. Yeah. Yeah, that's so good. Loyalty three, luck of the sea one book. Is that the boss right there? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the boss. I think we just all crowd around him and start attacking at the same time. If we can take him down like oh, crazy quick. Wait, he just looks like he's vibing. I don't think he even wants to fight. Trust me. As soon as he's attacked, it's going down. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? I'm going to place a cold yeah, on him. Yeah. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, you, you. He's over here. Get him. He's what taking no damage. Oh, he's actually taking good damage. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. What? That's actually huge. He's on half health already. And now he's stuck in a cold web. Dude. Yo, what? Yo, we're stuck in the Yo. I'll take aggro. I'll take aggro. I'll take aggro. I'm going to try and blow the Ravager. Ravager down. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, I popped my totem. Okay, back out, back out. He popped my totem. Oh my god. How does it summon two Ravagers this quickly? We were taking it down so fast. Okay, I'm just going in. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Where's he at? Oh, oh yeah, no, bro. Dude. I'm actually getting low too. Oh I got him. God. Enchanted totem. Let's go. Let's see this thing. Enchanted totem of undying. Honestly, that's not the worst trade. Although Sea Watts had used a totem, we had gained some really valuable loot from this part of the mansion. And as we already had enough obsidian to build a nether portal, we instantly traveled through and begun our search for gold blocks to trade for emeralds. All right, I think we're ready. We have totems, a lot of armor. Let's do this. Okay, please, put us by a structure. Oh my god, gold block instantly. That's actually huge. Well, there is a chest here. Golden apple, two golden apples actually in some gold. Huge, okay. Even though we'd spawned in the middle of a lava lake, we were able to travel across the basalt above us and continue searching for a structure until we eventually came across a crimson forest where we heard some unfamiliar voices. Yeah, so a treasure bastion is what we want. Everyone right? go like little separate ways if we're doing... We were currently on our last few pieces of food, but if we could surprise attack these players, we'd be able to restore our food supplies and gain some extra hearts. Yo, Grox and Siwa. We're over here, we're over here. Guys, be quiet. We're about to jump some people. We just heard someone. Bro, we're on the food struggle though. Well, they have food, that's why we need it. Yeah, we need it. But let's just see, because we're stacked. Who fired that arrow? Not us. Uh, probably an NPC. Oh my god. Oh, you. What? What? Wait, where was that? I don't know, it came from above though. It was a flame arrow. There was currently a lone player named Lackey in the netherrack above us. And when he saw us coming towards the Crimson Forest, he started hiding. I'm out of food basically, and I have none to like regen. Do you need okay. some? Everything yeah, do you have some? Who said that? Wait, who was ben? that? What? Oh my god, what? I'm okay, not who buddy. you were chasing, I just stumbled across ya. Do you want to give me okay. some food? And maybe we can have peace. Goodbye. Oh, so you're running. Yo, guys, group up, group up. Lucky then disappeared. And as we were slightly on edge after that interaction, we started considering cutting our nether trip short. However, we then heard a lightning strike very close to us. Oh my god, wait, oh, lightning over this way. Guys, follow, 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 follow. I didn't see where the lightning came from. I just know it was over here. 
It was a bit more to the right. Oh, that's so good. Okay, what was on his sword? Smite four knock back two. I'm just, I'm just gonna say F, even though that we killed him. I then realized one of these players was I'm just a fish, who almost killed me and Seawater at the beginning of the game. And as soon as I noticed that they were standing on a ledge over lava, I started pillaring up, planning to backstab them. Now, now that's my third kill. Let's go. There's a diamond helmet here if we want to give that to him. Oh yeah, hold on. I need to be extremely careful. There, okay. Why was yeah. he by himself? I don't know. I, feel, I felt so bad. He. Okay. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. That's silver, wait, hold on. He's got a flame, though. Yeah. Ah. Ah, go here. Listen, I got, I got 10 racks in my lobby. Bands on bands. I then realized Fisher's new teammates had an insane amount of gear, and my only choice was to try to escape. Oh my I got god. 10 racks in my lobby. Yo, I got, I got bands on bands. Yo, I saw, I saw guys. Oh, there, right? he, he cobwebbed Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 nah, nah. nah. Guys, do not fight that, do not fight that. <laughs> yo, yo, guys, fight that, fight that, fight that. Yo, fight that, fight that. Oh my god, that team is so stacked. Are we trying to fight it or no? No. With only level 1 enchants, Argus had no chance against the many players who outgeared us. But if we could just get the Emerald Sword by finding a Bastion and trading the gold blocks for emeralds, our team could stand a huge chance at making it to the end. So we continued exploring. Okay, I think we just keep searching for a structure for a tiny bit, but if not, we might want to just like do some fishing and get our enchants up. They 100% recognized me by the way you were saying my name consistently. Yeah, yeah, that, that was Fish. Remember, he was the guy he, he saved me from. Oh, yeah. That was scary. Okay. Yeah, that's like one of the most OP teams. You gotta definitely try to focus on getting the Yeah, we just need that Emerald Sword. We then continued towards the outer edges of the nether, and eventually, our exploring paid off. Yo, 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 massive Bastion right here. Oh, let's go. Let's go, dude. Ah. This is kind of far out too, so I doubt it's been looted. However, ever since we left the Crimson Forest, the player named Sideways Slabs, who we robbed on the way to the mansion, was trailing us equipped with TNT minecarts, and was planning to drop them into the Bastion to insta-kill us. Okay, guys, just be careful of the brutes. I found obsidian arrows. Yo! Yo, he does damage. I think it's a hell. Oh my god. Hold up. It, it's like in oh, the center at the help. bottom, no? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Get your totem, get your totem. No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Shoot them with arrows, you need. Oh, clutch. Oh. My. Dude, that was way too close. Oh, there's some gold right here. Gold. Oh, multi-shot crossbow. Lots of bone blocks. You should take those now. Oh, I just found a mending diamond pickaxe. What the heck? Oh, yo, guys, good news. There is gold in this side of the bastion. Okay, this, yeah, this bastion's really good for gold blocks. Maybe there's like one more chest we can loot. If not, we'll head back. Chest right here with ancient debris okay and another chest with another netherite scrap okay okay what if we head back to the surface now and we just get to trading because we already have one requirement by trading we can literally get everything we need for the sword we then regrouped about to head back to the overworld but we were now directly below sideways slabs who was waiting for his opportunity to strike oh my god what the heck? Oh, what was that I don't know. What was that? Yeah, I just got shot by like an exploding thing. Did you, Grox? Yeah, I got, I got shot. Yeah. Just be careful of those brutes. Be really careful. What? What is I happening? I just got shot with something that exploded. What? That's what I got hit with too. They're shooting like exploding arrows or something. My totem popped when the oh, it exploding did? arrow hit me. Yeah. Dude. Are we down to two? Oh, wait. There's four more gold blocks up here. I can just grab them here. Dude, that had to be a player, right? That was crazy. I don't know what it was. But it was I don't even know. That's just insane. I just exploded out of nowhere. Let's just get out of it. I really have a feeling there's, there's someone. Yeah, yeah I'm up. sussed out. I think I got shot with like a TNT yeah. bone arrow. Just just, just light the portal and let's get out of here because I do not want to, We've been standing here for too long. And finally, we returned to the overworld safely. And all we had to do now to get the Emerald Sword was trade for the remaining requirements. We then made a long journey across the ocean to the villages that Grox had found. And we're now just a few steps away from being the first team with a legendary weapon. Grox, do you know this guy? Wait. No. No. Wait. <laughs> this is Jum. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Darren? It's Jeremiah then. Yo, what's up, Darren? <laughs> Don't no, did that. Guys, this is Jamal's dad. 
Hey, your son's dead. This is it right here. This is uh where I met Jamal. This is their little uh, ocean city right here. We could probably get a lot of good trades here. Is every single one of these guys a fisherman? Oh, brewing stand though. Oh, a nitwit. What? And a luck potion. Wait, Grox, did you even loot this place? Oh, not. Nah, it just had a bunch of food. Damn, yeah, that's some unlooted ships right here. This is crazy. Oh, yo. There's a gap on here, what? One by one, we then turned each villager into a cleric and started selling our gold for emeralds. Okay, I can buy XP bottles. 16 exactly. After a long time trading, we then completed two more requirements for the emerald sword and finished trading all of our gold for emeralds. But we then realized that we still needed 25 more blocks. 39 out of 64, okay. Dude, we're so close. However, remembering that we saw a team who were selling emerald blocks in the events Discord server, we decided to contact them, hoping they had enough for us to complete the requirements. Are you gonna offer them our Enchanted, uh, totem of I feel like dying. that's our best bargaining chip because we can't really lose our actual ones. Yeah, let's just act like it's our only totem and maybe we even pretend it's like insanely OP. Like, we could just lie that it revives the team. It revives everyone on your yeah, team. Let's, yeah, let's tell them they can use it to revive dead people. Okay, I sent them a message. We are looking to trade emeralds. We need 24 blocks. What's your offer? Enchanted Totem of Undying. Okay, I'm not even gonna, ex I reckon we just explain to it, explain what it does in person. This player named Swerving said their team was interested in the trade and he invited us to their base. 40 and 1400. That could be a trap. Can we meet at our base instead? We only do business at our base. Oh boy. Unfortunately, these players only wanted to meet at their base, so as our team had a good amount of gear and could defend ourselves pretty well, we decided to trust them and travel there. Let's just do it. As long as we're like really cautious. Emeralds, who who has the totems? I have a totem. And before we left, we split the legendary weapon materials between us, just in case something went wrong. And see what and Wooly also decided to keep their totems in their hotbar, so that the other players didn't know that we had more totems to trade. Alright, goodbye Jamal's family. So we then started sailing towards Swell team's base until we eventually spotted what seemed like a skeleton in a boat. Oh my god. There's a player. Whoa. There's a player. Oh, yo. <laughs> He's on the run. Yo, yo, we come in peace. We actually don't. We actually don't, bro. No, this guy looks like a potential teammate. He has a skeleton skull on. Or he's an extra heart. I thought it was a mob. Yo. I literally thought it was a skeleton in a boat. <laughs> he's got a chain. He's got no leg. He's got a chain meal chest no, plate and a skeleton skull. No, he's, he's gone. The legendary weapon is more important. There could be another team about to get it, so. Well, actually, there probably isn't because of the totems, but getting it early would just make us, like, be so sad. There is a legendary teammate over there. After some more sailing, we finally reached land, and we're now getting very close to Swerving's base. I think push comes to shove, we should, they have to give us the emeralds first. And we'll yeah, we should definitely get them to drop the emeralds to make sure they're not lying and stuff. Okay, I think this is it. Oh. I see it. I see the base. Okay, they are stacked. Although Swerving and his teammates clearly had a lot of gear, there were only two of them here. So as we outnumbered them, it seemed like we were safe. Oh, hello hello guys. there. Yo, hello. How's your day been? We have a very valuable item we're willing to trade you right now. It's a boss drop, the enchanted totem. What does it do? If you have any dead teammates, this can bring them back and it also acts as a totem. Mm, wow, okay. What are you looking to get? We're looking for 24 emerald blocks. 24. All right, I think we have that in the chest inside. I'm gonna go look real quick. All right, okay, okay. I got them, guys. So, Do we uh, also have that emerald block right there? The one uh, that don't take that. Don't over? touch that. That's not part of the deal. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I got them. Come, come inside real quick to trade. We'd just been invited into Swerving's base, which immediately made us suspicious that they were planning something. So we made sure to stay very close to the gateway. You want me to drop that? Like, uh, I don't, I don't meet her. I don't okay, like come, come on the high come. ground. Let me drop, drop them here. There. Let me drop them here for you guys. Get down from there. Okay, here. wait, Major, do you have any You're apples? being kind of suspicious I right now. Wait. Hold on, hold on. However, Swerving was currently trying to distract us from the real threats. Two more of his teammates hiding underground, planning to surprise attack us for the Emerald Sword materials. Okay. Get off the high ground. How about here. you Get just the drop them like here and I'll okay. if you drop the emeralds no, first no, we'll then... drop them a little bit like uh no I don't actually do y'all oh, have any fuck. apples for us I have apples hello Whoa, oh hello. my god Whoa, hey. right, what's up Willie what's up King yeah, Willie yo dead. yo same of you see what you're dying no first oh, get see what get see what 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 see no what. guys just run just run just run just run Dude! Oh, you're dead, GG's. What's up, Silver? What the hell? Oh, oh, that? Silver. oh that, don't. 
alone. While Swerving's team had managed to steal all of the Emerald Sword requirements, so I then decided that I was going to do everything I could to take that team down and get revenge. There were now just 40 players remaining, and although most of them were in full teams of 5, there were still some players that I could potentially join up with, and by collecting enough gear, I knew I had a chance to defeat Swerving's team later on, and win in memory of Seawatt's Willy and Grox. So now, planning to trap some stacked players for gear, I then decided that I was going to finish the colossal sand trap surrounding my base, and after an insane amount of digging, as well as a few mining trips to collect dripstone, I started covering up the trap with sand. However, I then saw the chat announcement that I was dreading. Oh my god. They just crafted it, dude. There's no way. I was hoping they didn't pick up the materials. I'm gonna get the Emerald Sword back, and that team are gonna end up in this trap. One way or another, it is going to happen. Eventually, I finished covering up the trap, and I was now ready to use it on any players who ran past my base. And there we go. The way I pull this trap is I break this block here. But then I can also break it like that, and it'll pull from down here too. So it's pretty good. I just want to check that this is actually working, so... There we go. Okay, yeah, it is definitely working. Now, I'm gonna be using this later, but for now, I could get killed in like four hits, so I just need to gear up. I then plan to go on a mining trip and mine a bunch of diamonds to improve my armor, but just as I was about to leave, I spotted a name tag through the birch trees. No way, dude. I see someone. I'm gonna take off my armor. As I was currently disguised with a random username, I was hoping that this player would follow me to my base, but he was very hesitant, so I decided I was going to try and provoke him. Come on, run over here. Oh my god, it's lackey. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna fire my bow at him. Come on. Kill Bro, the- Bro, you're gonna shoot my buddy! Where'd he go? <laughs> I'm gonna kill his ally. Wow! Get out of here, bro! Lucky then broke my diamond boots, and I was left in a very dangerous position. But he then started running away, so I decided I would have to use my trap another time. I then started running through the forest, searching for a cave, and finally started my mining trap. Okay, I just need as many diamonds as possible. My armor right now is like half broken, my pickaxe has 20 durability left, and hopefully if I get enough levels, I can start enchanting my gear to actually be strong. So I'm just gonna dig straight down here and hope for the best. Oh, there we go. It was then announced that the end dimension would be opening in just two hours, meaning players could travel to end cities and the dragon egg would be obtainable, which was the main requirement for the dragon katana legendary weapon. And although I currently wasn't in any kind of position to rush the dragon fights, I started considering traveling through to the outer end after the first few teams went through, as by finding an unlooted end city, I could possibly get some OP gear and an elytra. But for now, my main focus was to get diamonds and stronger enchantments, so I continued traveling through caves and eventually made a very lucky decision discovery. Okay, this cave goes very deep. Oh my. What the heck? There is no way. This is so perfect for getting level 30. I just found the deep dark and some weird type of redstone. Instantly, I crafted an iron hoe and started insta-breaking skulk to gain a ton of XP. And now, as soon as I mined enough diamonds to complete my armor, I'd be able to enchant all of it at level 30. Okay. <laughs> 
I probably need to be uh, a little bit more careful than I'm being right now. Not only that, but there was actually an ancient city connected to this cave, and the chests in this structure contained items that could completely change the rest of my game. Somebody just said, Silver, why are you at my base? That makes me kind of nervous. There's no way someone lives here. I mean, right now it seems unlooted. Did I just hear a shrieker? Okay. I just saw diamonds, but I need to be so careful right now, or a warden is literally gonna spawn. Finally, I can actually have a diamond pick. Okay, I honestly don't think these diamonds are safe to mine. Do I just mine them and run? I think I just I just have to do it. It's no other choice. I don't know if there are shriekers nearby, but let's just do it. Okay. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no, okay. I just gotta I gotta mine it and go. I think. There was enough time between the first time and that one that the wooden didn't even summon. Why am I crafting here? Oh no! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh my god. I'm just running. I am just running. More gold. Oh, wait, hold up. I didn't even realize I'm in an ancient city. This could be so insane for gearing up. The one thing about ancient cities is there's like a million shriekers everywhere. Oh no, this one hears me. If I break this one, I think there's none nearby. Please, please, please. Okay, this chest is safe. Swift sneak and punch. I will take it. Some books right there. Disc fragments, which I would take if this was a game of Hope Light Battle Royale. On my server, there are crafting recipe for the skull crossbow I used in the purge. Dude, please, just a Nort Chapel or something. Just something that lets me stand a chance against that team with the Emerald Sword. I need to get it back to avenge our team, dude. Oh my God. What? Two in one chest. That is absolutely insane. And chest right here with regen pots. But I may have just activated a shrieker. Oh, I didn't just activate a shrieker. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Please. Dude. What? No! Dude! Oh my god, it's chasing me, 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 it's chasing me. Please, 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 please. I can't even see where I am. Oh my god, I have to eat a notch apple. Dude! Okay. I'm just going. Okay. Do one of these. Just dig. Oh my god. I then dug into a cave and finally escaped the warden. And although I came very close to death, I'd hugely upgraded my gear and was now becoming a lot more confident that I could survive in fights against other teams. However, as I'd only looted around half of the ancient city, I decided to head back as there was still a ton of potential loot to find, and I needed as much gear as I could get while I had no teammates, especially as I was planning to travel to the end dimension as soon as it opened. Okay, there it is. End opening in under one hour. No way, it's disc fragments from Hot Plate? No way. There's like a million shriekers next to this one. I literally have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I think I just have to take it. Let's just try it, dude. Oh boy. Oh! What? Okay, I'm literally just gonna loot the next chest I see and then leave. Wait, I think I lost that warden. Oh my god, mending pants. Okay. Oh! Dude! They're spawning like instantly. Don't worry, just I like it's not there and nothing will happen. Come on, dude, just one more chest. I've come all this way. Okay, we're going up and oh my God, that's adequate. That's definitely adequate. It hears me, it definitely hears me. I'm just going. And finally, after digging through the wall, I was safe. And I now had a huge gear upgrade that would definitely increase my chances of winning as soon as I returned to my base and upgraded my enchantments. I have three diamonds right now. I'm literally just gonna have to repair my pickaxe like this. This is completely inefficient, but I don't have any wood. Okay, I just gotta head back to the base. I then started digging towards the surface, but I ended up directly below a large team who were hunting down a solo player. Oh boy, I just saw a name tag. I am not taking any risks right now. Oh my god, someone just died like 
right above me. I'm just gonna wait before I surface and play it very safe. The thing is, I do have my trap. I'm just kind of far from my base right now. But eventually, the enemy team continued in the other direction. So cautiously, I made my way back to the surface and returned to my base, planning to upgrade my gear in preparation for heading back to the nether, as my sights were now set on getting to the end dimension and doing everything I could to get the Dragon Katana legendary weapon. My gear is like nowhere near enough to survive right now. And we are back safely. Okay, now finally, I can actually level 30 a sword. I think I'm actually just gonna grindstone it. So now if I put this in, we get shop three on the sword or I can get protection three on the leggings. Okay, alongside mending, that's gonna be good. I'll take it, I'll take it. This helmet I can get on breaking three. Protection three on breaking three. I then enchanted another power three book, which meant that I could get a powerful flame bow. And finally, the sword enchantment I was looking for appeared. On the sword, I can get shop four now. Okay, I am a couple of levels off. I think through here, there was a cave. Okay, so I then set out on a quick caving trip to get back to 30 levels. Unfortunately, came across some diamonds. Please be a good vein. If I can get boots, dude, that would just be nuts. Oh, dude, no way. I have enough diamonds for boots. Let's go, dude. And like one extra, so I can maybe repair something. Three veins of gold right here. More diamonds. Holy... Lee, I mean, it is only a one vein, but I will take it. I now finally had enough diamonds to get a full set and repair all of my armor. However, I still needed a few more levels for enchanting, so I started searching for ores, but instead came across something much more useful. No way. Literally perfect. So now I can get enough levels to do two swords and potentially get a sharpness five just like that. Oh, I got a carrot. Golden carrots are going to be my food source from now. Then if I just break this, we have 33 levels. Let's go. I then returned to my base and could now make my final upgrades before entering the nether. And now if I just go ahead and do this, then also go ahead and try and enchant this. I can get looting too, or I can get fire aspect one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think it needs to be done. If I'm about to go to the nether, then fire aspect is gonna be insane. Okay, it's fire aspect one on its own, but I will take it. Shop for fire one. Now lastly, I can do a level 28 enchantment on the boot but no protection. We have Depth Strider if I need it, but I guess for now, Protection 2 Iron is even better, dude. Mending Prot 3 Leggings, and I can combine these. Now I have Powerful Unbreaking Flame. Then we can go Fire Aspect 1, and now at this point, I just need diamonds to repair my armor. Hopefully, I can kill for some armor. That's basically my only choice. So, with just 30 minutes left until the end dimension opened, I was finally ready to travel through to the nether. And after a massive gear upgrade, I was feeling much more confident that I could take down other players in fights. If I was attacked while trying to collect my eyes of Vanda. What the heck? There is a base there. After finding a lava pool, I was finally ready to travel through, but I ended up spawning in a basalt delta surrounded by lava lakes, so I decided to dig down and start strip mining, as if I came across some ancient debris, it would help me get the netherite sword that I needed for the dragon katana. Dude, I think my teammates had those scraps that we found earlier. That's so unfortunate. I remember giving them to see what. But after some strip mining, I dug into an opening where there had been an explosion. Oh, not like this. Uh, how about you let me heal up? You let me heal up. You let me, let me heal up. And we have a fair fight. Just a few blocks away, Lackey, who had completely maxed out Diamond Armor, was preparing to fight another player. And it sounded like this was about to be very one sided. When you're ready. Here, I'll even use a Diamond Axe. Uh, right. From my encounters with Lackey earlier, I knew that he had a ton of gear. And it would be game changing if I could take him down. So I then waited for an opportunity to surprise attack. Good luck. The chance of winning for me is very slim, but. You gotta go out swinging, though. I know you're like not taking any damage. <laughs> that is ah, unfortunately true, nightmare. my friend. GG's. Yeah, good game. Good game. Oh, hell no. I was set up. Yo, come here. No! Lucky. No! I just got done fighting. So, no, 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 no. No, lucky. man. No, 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 no. Don't make me kill you. Because you know I will. Even though I'd just eaten a notch apple, Poison and his sharpness 5 sword shredded my health, so I had to eat another one, hoping it would be enough to take him down. I don't die. Naughty, naughty, naughty. No, I did not approve of this. I did not grind my buttocks off, my friend. Not for this! Not for this! Dude. Not like this! Oh my god. Find me. Find me. I don't have a low fire texture pack on. I can't see. You've 
Tina, you see you're doing so much more damage. No, uh, 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 uh. No, 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 wait, wait! Yes! Oh. My god, finally I had taken down Lackey, who at the time had been the most stacked player in the entire event, meaning I was about to get a massive gear upgrade. Look at this loot. Sharpness 5, looting 3. Oh my god, protection 4. He had 18 gold blocks. Efficiency 4, smelting touch, and breaking fortune. Okay, that is a good pickaxe upgrade, and I'm gonna be able to get so many gapples when I go back to the overworld. I used 3 notch apples, but that gear is actually insane. The 18 gold is gonna just change everything. I can actually get to the end now. Dude, Lackey is an absolute tank though. There were now just 25 minutes until the end opened, and this gear upgrade made me a lot more confident in getting the Dragon Egg. However, I still needed some Eyes of Ender and a Netherite Ingot to be able to craft the Katana. So hoping to get some Ancient Debris, I continued strip mining. Dude, okay, first piece of debris. There we go, it smelted straight away too. Dude, this pickaxe is so good. But after just a few more minutes of mining, I heard even more players. And this time, it was an entire team. No, dude, no more people. I knew there was a chance they didn't have much gear, and if I could surprise attack one of them while they were separated, I could possibly get a kill for an extra heart. So cautiously, I dug towards the enemy players, and eventually discovered their tunnel. So I started sneaking towards them, waiting for my chance to strike. Oh my god! Come here! Oh, no, 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 don't do me like this, dude, don't. Jesus Christ. Waddle, hide, hide, Waddle, hide. I can't help me out! Ancient debris! Place one more and I'll let you go. Oh, wait, it's you, Silver. What's good, man? Hey, what do you need? What do you need? Oh, yeah. There's some more, there's some more. Come on. There's some more. Get some. That's a good deal. That's fine with me. Cheers. I knew that this player's teammates were coming to back him up, so I quickly mined the ancient debris, very shocked at what just happened. You scared the hell out of me, man. You scared the hell out of me. And somehow I found four more ancient debris in the wall, then started strip mining away as fast as I could before these players realized they could probably take me on in a fight. Hey, we only lost four ancient debris, don't worry, we only lost four ancient debris. We only lost four. Wait. Don't take them, don't take them. Are you sure mm. that? The players then started debating trying to take me down, but I managed to escape back to the surface safely. Now with enough ancient debris for two ingots, I actually cannot believe that. Not only do I get a netherite sword here, but I get a netherite armor piece too. It's the power of intimidation tactics. They could have killed me. <laughs> they really could have killed me. Okay, so if I do this, we can craft a sharpness five netherite sword. There we go. I'd now completed one of the Dragon Katana requirements, and all I had to do now was make sure that I got the Dragon Egg when the end opened. But this wouldn't be an easy task, as currently many other teams were preparing to enter the end, meaning I would have to get my 12 Eyes of Ender quickly. So I then started running towards the outer edges of the nether, and luckily I came across a really fast way to get the Ender Pearls I needed. Oh yo, okay. I have a Looting Sword. This can literally get me my Ender Pearls, so all I need is Blaze Rods after this. Three Ender Pearls from one. There we go, five Pearls. 6 pearls, 14 pearls, that is literally all I need. Now I just gotta find a fortress. I'm kind of far out right now, so there could be an unlooted fortress if I'm lucky. Although I still needed 16 more ender pearls for the dragon katana requirements, I decided that for now it was much more important to focus on the dragon egg, and as I currently had just enough pearls to activate the end portal, I continued searching the nether trying to get blaze rods. Dude, there's like 10 minutes till it opens. I don't even know how I'm gonna get there in time. There's just no way that I'm gonna be the first play it in there, but I'm just hoping there's a way for me to get the egg. Okay, fortress right here. There's a chance this is unlooted. I swear I saw some cobblestone blocks like below this. I'm just hoping for the best. I can't see any blocks placed. Oh, dude, there's, there's blocks. People have been here. Oh my god, there's a spawner. Dude, that is so lucky. I just need the blaze rods. This looting is going to speed this up so much. Dude, this knockback could actually be really good in the end too. Okay, all I had to do now was return to my nether portal, which was a few hundred blocks away, and I was starting to worry about not getting to the end in time. But as I was leaving the fortress, I spotted a portal that had been built by other players. There is no way. I was gonna have to run like 300 blocks back to my portal. 
there's one literally right here. Just five minutes before I got to this fortress, two players had collected their blaze rods and traveled through this nether portal back to the overworld, also planning to rush the end dimension. And as I was about to start heading towards the same stronghold as them, there was a chance that we could form a team. I just need to run this way. Okay, jungle temple right there, but honestly, I just I just want to get there first. I then broke a ton of leaves and crafted some golden apples in preparation to fight the other players about to rush the end, then started sailing towards the stronghold, hoping to get there in time. Dude, there's a lighthouse. I want to loot that so bad. I just have to go. But the dimension then opened. Oh no. I haven't even found the stronghold yet. There's probably going to be teams who've already found it, dude. Okay, the thing is, I don't think I'm that far away. Nether portal right there. It's probably another team going to the same stronghold. Dude, do I just just drink this speed pot. I think I am just gonna save it because nobody's actually gone through and I still do have time to try and like nab the uh, dragon egg. Okay, dude, it just changed direction like 90 degrees. I am definitely close. What the heck? Chest right here with nothing in them. There's a team. Directly below me were two players searching for the portal room in the stronghold, and I had no idea how large this team was or whether they were hostile. So planning to hide in this stronghold until they traveled through to the end, I cautiously made my way down. This could be kind of good though, because I could let them activate the portal for me, and then basically, I could keep my pearls and use it to like, be really safe during the fight. But as I got closer, I recognized their voices. How is this the smallest stronghold and we can't find the portal room? Wait, and I realized it was Time Dio, who's a very skilled Bedwars and Skyblock creator, and Greninja, who's a very feared Battle Royale player on Hoplite. Is that Dio? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hello? Where Please are you? say you guys aren't on a full team. We're team of two right now. Where are you? Man's creeping around the corner. Dude, I am literally solo right now. And as I was friends with both of them, we instantly formed a team, knowing it would definitely increase our chances of surviving. I'm inviting you. You're not gonna backstab us, right? Mm. I am not gonna backstab you guys. Dude. We need to go. You do not understand how relieving that is. I thought I was gonna have to try and get the dragon egg from like a team of five. We then came across the portal room and as we hadn't heard any other portals activate, we were about to be the first players in the end dimension. Are you guys going for the katana as well? No, nah, we're going nah, for the nah. elytra. Yeah, we wanna fly. I'm literally so close to getting a legendary weapon right now. So do you need more eyes or do you guys have enough? No, no, I, I have the last one. Go. You wanna place it? Okay, we're going. Okay, go on. Go, 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 go. Dude, we're literally the first ones in. That is so big. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. If we could take down the dragon before another team got to the end, we'd be able to escape through an end gateway without even having to fight. So we then plan to kill the dragon as fast as possible. I have a bow, so I can just bow the crystals so it doesn't regen. Yeah, get the crystals out. We'll just do this old style. Wait, we don't have any beds. I don't have any explosives, so let's just... What is... Yo, somebody just summoned the Wither. I'm pretty sure that's a team going for the Hypnosis Staff weapon, but as long as they're not in the end, that's that's chill. As long as we get this egg and the Elytras, I do not care. Dude, if we can do this before any other teams get through, that will be so insane. Oh, I perch, I perch. Get in the middle, get in the middle, I perch. Okay, I have, I have sharp five netherite, by the way, so. We only, we only have sharp fours. Oh, Dio, no! I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my god, look at that damage. What? It's melting, what? Should we trap the end spawn? Yeah, we Wait, should. We you, should. Get, you guys keep bowing. I'll go down and place uh, lava. Just okay, keep doing okay. as much damage as possible. Okay. I just gotta place lava. But just as I was about to trap the end spawn, a very stacked team of two entered the end, also planning on getting the dragon egg. Oh, God. Dude. Oh, it's some. Help. So I instantly drank my speed potion, not wanting to lose this dragon egg under any circumstances. And luckily, Dio and Greninja appeared to back me up. We gotta take them out. We cannot lose this egg, dude. Shot him twice. Why, hello there. Get him! Oh boy. I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm chasing this one, I'm chasing this one. Shot Dio. I'm helping you. Dead, dead. Nice. Dude, nice! Dude, I'm sorry. Stick on, stick on this is the end for you. Dude, this knockback sword is crazy. Get him, I'll boost you. I'm gonna hit him off the island. He's camping up there, dude. Shot him. Can you get him down? Oh, I hit him with knockback. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, we just gotta take this guy out. Hey! Oh. Get him, he's running. Hey! Oh, he lost his water. Nice! Nice! Oh my god. Okay, just leave this really quick. It? What? This guy, this guy died with prop four. I'd quickly realized how overpowered our team were. All of us being experienced at PvP alongside our insane gear made us a very deadly team. And we just upgraded our items even more. Protection three. Okay. That is so huge. Wait, do oh you my want. God. Here. Is that any use to you? 
Oh my god. Riptide tri- that is insane. Did you guys pick up hearts? I've got two here. Scott, take that up. Huge. Okay. Let's just I kill this dragon as quick as we can, dude. I mean, that was okay because we outnumbered them, but if a team of five come through, we are like in trouble. It's gonna perch. It's perching. Come on. This could be it. This sword hopefully does enough damage. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes! Oh nice. my god. Nice. Okay, we just gotta get this egg. Uh, I'm gonna make a slab real quick. Right click the egg. Final step. Oh my god. He's got it. It's been done. Finally, we collected the hardest requirement for the dragon katana. All we had to do now was kill a few endermen to craft the eyes of ender, collect some more diamonds, then we could craft what many ended up considering the most powerful legendary weapon on the server. However, as Dio and Greninja had helped me get the dragon egg, I was happy to go to the outer end with them first and start searching for an end city to hopefully get an elytra. And looting end cities would actually be a very fast way to get diamonds. Yes, I, uh, I want an elytra. I want to fly. Yeah, want I got elytra. firework rockets and everything planned. Dude, I just want to get this katana so bad, but you guys helped me with the egg, so let's do this. I think I just need 12 diamonds. Just 12 diamonds? Okay. Do you have any right now, or do you need 12 more? I need 12 more. All right, let's do this. Please be a good... Sp oh That's my quick. god. Literally right there. What is the luck? Wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look. Over here. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, boy. Sideways Slabs, who was the player dropping TNT minecarts in the nether, had just traveled through the gateway right behind us. And as I knew he was seeking revenge against my team, we started chasing him down, planning to get an extra heart. Hey, no, no, no. Hey. hey. Are, are you a solo? Yes, I'm a solo. Leave me alone. Hey, don't crawl on me. Hey. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Bro, can you chill with the purling? This is like actually mega no, cringe. Oh my god. Is he dead? He's not dead. Stu, Should go. we try it? I'm going for it. Get him off, get him oh. off. Shot him. I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. No. He, he logged. He just logged out. He did oh. not want to just... Oh boy. <laughs> Bro logged out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro said no and left. We then started crossing the void and made our way back to where we'd spotted the end city. And although it was small, we were hoping it had some valuable items inside. However, instead of bridging, Greninja decided to throw a very risky ender pearl to the island. All right, I'm going for it. You, you no way you make that. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's gone. We don't even get his heart or anything. Do you want to pearl it too? No. Do we make him a grave? I think we need to. Here lies a uh, little Greninja. May he rest in peace. We were literally <laughs> set boy, to win this. He's gone. We we had it in the bag. We now have to somehow win as a team of two. And as most other players had already found their teams of five, it was very unlikely that we'd find more teammates. But as we'd come this far, we pushed forward and continued searching for an elytra, hoping we could increase our gear enough to stand a chance later on. Keep an eye on the portal. If anyone comes through, just let me know and I'll come back. Okay. I'll be watching. As Dio had a spare netherite sword without knockback, he gave it to me as it would be much better for killing players if they tried to run. It's probably best if you dual wield. Okay. And finally, we crossed to the island with the end city. We can probably pearl like now. I am not, no, I don't want to risk it, man. It's more risky being on this bridge. Actually, you have a point. Just, just do it. Just do it. It's fine. Oh my God. I can't believe. We were set to win. We had everything. Also, I don't think this end city has a ship, so hopefully it has some chests though. When we climbed up to the top of the end city, we realized there wasn't a single chest here. So we then decided to start searching for a larger end city. Being this close to the gateway is kind of risky anyway, so I think we should just okay. go. There were so many teams talking about going to the end in chat, so. Yeah, we, we don't want to get caught off guard. Let's just get this elytra and put distance between us. Did you have any other teammates before Greninja or were you guys just a team of two? No, I was with the phone. It was me, Greninja, and the phone. He was enchanting. I got jumped by this My Little Pony guy. The My Little Pony team are evil. I then found out that Dio wanted revenge on the exact same players that killed my teammates, so we then became even more motivated to win. This is the plan, okay? Basically, okay. I'll get the katana, and we can loot an end city, hopefully. And then, you can have the emerald sword. I'm gonna get it back from that team. Okay. And we can win as a team of two. If, as long as we have those legendary weapons, I think we're honestly set. No one can stop us. I also have the most obscure trap ever. It's basically like a hundred blocks of sand fall if you break a block. Ooh. So um, I'm hoping that if we run into the My Little Pony people, we can get them with it. If we could get a trap kill on them, that would actually be the funniest. 
best. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping for the best. And while we were traveling through the end, a player equipped with netherite armor actually fell into my trap, but somehow didn't hit the dripstones. So I guess next video I have to make some improvements. Finally some Enderman, okay. Uh wanna just pull this? It's it's close enough, we can. Oh my god, I'm just so paranoid. Okay. My heart drops every time I throw the pearl. Oh, okay. Another team. We are just like pretty good. I reckon if we do like see more players, we just use our final potions and get the get the hearts and gear. That's a uh, not a bad plan. I'm just scared. Of, like so there's teams of three and teams of four in here, and if they're just as stacked as us, then I don't know. That that might be a little difficult. There's another gateway over here. Okay, we should definitely note down the uh, chords of that because if we need to escape, that is gonna be huge. Okay, so the chords of this are minus fifteen hundred one thousand. That's like very easy to remember to be fair. Oh my god, look in chat. Oh, that's not what you want to see. This hypnosis staff weapon ended up having a huge impact on the rest of the events, as Nyx Lunary's team had the coordinates of an ancient city and were planning to collect an army of extremely deadly mobs to become unstoppable. But as they were in the overworld while we were in the end, we wouldn't be encountering them for a while. And our real threats were a very stacked team of four equipped with full netherite armor, who were slowly following our trail through the end. However, luckily, we were just about to get a massive gear upgrade. City, 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 city. Holy. Is there a ship? Please end ship, please end ship, please end We can ship. at least get the diamonds. There's the ship! There's Let's a ship! go! Oh my god. All right, we get stacked here. This is this is where it all happens. And there's a gateway like right next to it, so. Is there perfect? Yeah, if another team did appear, we're safe. We then climbed up the end city towers and spotted the first chest. There's chest in here, right? Yup, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Please have diamonds, come on. Let's go, three diamonds and some gold. I will take it. It's not bad, it's not bad. But after searching the other towers, we realized they didn't contain any chests, so we then planned to bridge over to the end ship. But in the distance, I spotted a player cross over to our island with an elytra. Oh, oh no. Do you see that? What? Where were we? Where? Guy with an el- What are they saying? Guy in leather armor with an elytra? Wait, where? What? What are you on about? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I just saw I don't a guy in leather you. armor with an elytra down I there. I don't believe. No. no way oh my god, that's a massive team. That. Oh my god, that's not leather armor. One oh them might no, be. that's full netherite. Just, just, just go oh, for the, screwed. go for the ship, go for the ship. They, they probably haven't seen us yet. They, they, they're looking right at us. I don't know what you're on about. Is it even worth getting this, or do we need to just get out? 100. Go for it. Just, just come over here, Dio. No, 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 no. Ooh. Are Ooh. you good? I'm good. I pearled like right next to them. Protection for mending boots. Efficiency. I'm breaking three diamond chest plate. I'm just gonna take it. What if we like try and knock them off and just like go for a kill? Shot him. Shot him. Shot him. Speed port. Regen. And let's do it. He's pearling. He's pearling. He's pearling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see it. You see it. Get off. Get off. I got one! I got one! Oh my god. Give me the nether right here. Just grab the gear, grab the gear. Oh my god, the knockback actually worked! Oh my god. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Okay, get the nether right on it. I'm half nether right. Nice! One's, one's down, one's down. You guys are go so go done. You guys are literally. Bro, how dare you I steal my him. boy I him. to the bring you? Remember me? This guy's Remember me? Of you. Come here. Oh Jesus. He's got like a knockback sword. Ooh. What's the flip? Okay. okay. Oh god. Careful. Yeah, I was not careful. No, I was not careful. I was not careful. Dio then pulled back over to me and the enemy players retreated, and they started blocking off the end gateway with obsidian to stop us escaping back to the overworld. And knowing me and Dio were outmatched by these players, we decided to back out as well, and started sharing out the netherite armor that we just picked up. I have two pearls left, I used all my pots and I had one god app and I ate it. I have um, a spare netherite chest plate for you. Wanna toss me like- I've got pants. I'll take the pants, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this elytra is for you. Ooh. We literally just gotta get back to the overworld and then- Oh wait, hold up. I can get what? Sharpness 5 Fire 2 Nether right now. Oh wait, but I'm about to get the Katana as well. So this can be for you. Let's go. Oh my boy. Oh, this thing is loaded. Did you pick up any diamonds from that guy? 
Uh, he had 11 on him. Here. How many more do you need? That's enough. Okay, I'm on 34. I just needed 32. I now had three out of four of the requirements for the dragon katana and just needed some more ender pearls. But as staying in the end dimension was extremely dangerous, we decided to check whether the coast was clear to get to the gateway. Let's just try to get through. They're they're at the gateway. They're at they're at the gateway. They're okay, at the gateway. Run, 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 run. Let's go back to the other one. Also, they didn't even know that we are the people with the dragon egg, otherwise they probably wouldn't have left. They us. would they would have not let us run. Let's just go back this way. Remember there was a gateway at 1500. It wasn't even this way, was it? We then realized that to get back to the overworld, we would either have to use the gateway at the nearby end city or run past it to get back to the one we spotted before. So hoping the enemy players would leave the end city, we killed some time looking for Enderman as we were just eight pearls away from getting the katana. Does this have looting on it or do you still have the looting sword? Uh, I have the looting sword. Oh, okay, you didn't even teleport. I was gonna say, we could just trap it in a boat. Literally just three more. Literally one more pearl. And finally, we collected the last requirement for the dragon katana. So as soon as we got to the pedestal at the cornucopia, we would be insanely powerful. But we still had to get back to the overworld first. We kind of need to be fast because if they know that we have the elytra, they might try and get us. So we should be quick, yeah. As we got closer, we realized the obsidian had been broken, meaning it was very likely that the enemy players had traveled back to the main end island. Are they here still? No, they went through. Are they gonna, can they trap us on the other side? I heard a keyboard. I am so scared to travel through. It looks like we're in the clear. And this should take us back to uh, maybe zero, zero. Exactly where the katana, we can buy it. Oh my okay. god. Someone just bought the pufferfish cannon. Pufferfish cannon. Wait, that means that they're at spawn. Should we, tr should we try kill him? We can try it. Okay, let's just see let's just see when we go through. Hoping we could take down the players who just crafted the pufferfish cannon. We traveled back through to the overworld. However, somehow, the team at the cornucopia weren't the ones with the cannon, and instead were the most powerful players on the server, Swerving's team. Do you see anyone? Oh my oh, god. Oh guy, 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 guy. Is he is he alone? Just go for the Oh, I'm alone. Oh wait, this sounds oh, like you a little silver over there, alone. like one last time. Oh, I remember run. you. Run, 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 run. Yeah, that's really yeah, cool. fight us. I just spotted the dragon katana pedestal. There was no way I'd be able to craft it with these players trying to kill us, so our only choice was to run. How are your last teammates doing, my guy? Ooh, that hurts. Oh, yes, you bet. Leave Doggo alone. I'm just gonna get Dio. All four of these players were now on Dio, and I had to back him up, so I then started targeting Swerving, hoping I could drop him and get the Emerald Sword. Do you just TP away? Keep her up, keep her up. Ah. Oh. Oh, Yo, we wanna give you PTSD. Little silver! Oh, I, I just right clicked. Oh, it's fine. I have gaps. I have gaps for this. Oh, lag. Don't worry. How's, how's your health looking? You like them? You like the Emerald Blade? But I then realized that I had a clear view of the cornucopia, and now with less players on Dio, I decided to make a break for the katana pedestal. You're leaving your teammates every single time. You've taken all the L's against us. Aw, uh, okay. It's unfortunate. Dude. I just gotta do I it. Guess, I guess I gotta show them too. I just gotta do it. And finally, I could claim the legendary weapon. Oh my god. 13 attack damage. That is absolutely nuts. Instantly, I knew I had to get back to Dio. And currently, he was fighting all four players from Swerving's team at once. Hey, still no, on no, the right, guys. Still, still on the right. Uh, no, Dio, Dio, run to... Run to me, oh, yeah, run to me. You're going to the base. You're going to that nice headbitter trap that we saw. Dio, follow, follow me. Nice. Does that not work? And finally, it was time to use the katana to turn the tables of this battle. But we can fight. Sure. Sure. You're done, dude. Me never. You didn't smoke? As soon as Meter Boy was out of my reach, I decided to test the katana's teleport ability. Whoa. Whoa, I give me some of them per- You're done, dude. And immediately, I realized how overpowered this sword was. Wait, do you get him? Bro, it's late. Like, come on. I'm tired, my guy. Yeah, let us kill you and, and you can just go to bed. My teammates were tired when you betrayed them. Nah. Wait, what do you mean I betrayed them? Good pearl, good pearl. You can't even water right now. I, uh... I'm boosting you. He's gonna die. Nah, no, no, I don't die, my guy. Get him, Dio. Boosting. Is that what you're gonna do? 2v1? Somehow, Meter Boy's insane armor just about kept him alive, and his other three teammates then appeared out of nowhere. I have Yo, what's two gaps. good? Backup is here. He said he's on two gaps. I have too many gaps. 
Yeah. Get the get the get the get As we were now heavily outnumbered, we were running out of options, Ooh. so I tried to buy us some time to escape by pretending we had a trap. Dio, the trap's right here. What trap? What trap? Dio, oh, this, this way, this way, this way, this way. There's no trap. There's no trap. I'm following you, following you. Oh, I don't know There's about no that. There's no trap. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, Dio. Just keep going, Dio. Let's keep going, keep going. Let's leave him. 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 They're not worth it. And luckily, we escaped into the forest safely after realizing there was just no way we could take this team down. However, as there were now just seven teams remaining, the world border would soon be closing in, causing a giant final battle where we could potentially truce with some other players to take them down. Also, I found out some lore about this place. So the dude who lives in that factory is called Common Hat, and apparently he uh, cuts down all the trees <laughs> on the server. He cuts the leaves off, leaves the trees here. Oh man, if only, if only we got one of them. That team are like unkillable. I hit so many crits. We just have to catch them at the right time. We Here can't we add a guy to our team, they said. They're adding another player to their team. Dude. So this is, this is it, this is our base. This is nice. Yeah, so basically, um, see the sand block up there? I then gave Dio a tour of the base, and we begun upgrading our gear. Okay, protection for boots, there we go. Okay, and then I can turn this into netherite. These can be my leggings, and then that spare, okay. uh, leggings right there. Okay, do you want either my helmet or my boots? So we're both three forced netherite? Uh, yeah, sure. What about helmet? Okay, yeah, you, you keep that depth strider. Both of us now had full protection four, as well as three netherite pieces. However, because of our last fight, a few of our pieces had low durability, and as the nether and end dimensions were now closing, the only way we could repair our armor was to kill for more netherite pieces. So, planning to use the katana to take down some teams, we started searching the outskirts of the cornucopia, and eventually came across an interesting structure, which we would soon find out was the base of another team. The golem in the water. What? Look in the- across the lake. Oh yeah, I think this is just a structure. What the heck? Zombie villager. What's happening here? If it's team 28, we team on them. Oh! Wait, Scott, Scott, Scott. Oh, it's time to deal. Oh okay, boy. Hello? Oh, wait, no, it's double team! Run! Yeah, you better run. Oh, Hello, guys? Okay. Okay. No, just run, just kill us, run, don't kill us. Hi, Alex, I'm oh, sorry I have to do out. this. Dude, Silver, why does this always happen? Why- why you gotta do this to me, bro? I'm so sorry. Oh my oh, god! So <laughs> Hello, you got silver. melted! Look at this, look at- I just want it's to show you. It's ready. Oh. oh, there he goes. These players, named Omelet and Freddy, then started using their Riptide Tridents to escape. However, I noticed that their teammate was separated, and teleported across the river to take him down. Bye Speed, bye. Don't, don't Silver, me. leave me be. Silver, please, man. I've lasted so long. I'm sorry, man. This is an interesting choice of location. Wait, where'd he go? The player then enderpearled away, and I had no idea where he went. Where, did, he, did you lose him? Did he disappear? Yeah, and although it was a shame that we didn't get his netherite armor, I did gain an extra heart from this fight, which would be very useful when fighting stronger teams later on. We then started heading back towards the cornucopia, looking for more players that we could get gear from, but instead, we found an extremely rare type of horse. What the heck? Zebra with a saddle on it. Wait, we just ride into battle on this guy. Dude, if only we had a second saddle. Well, you got the teleporty sword, give me the zebra. <laughs> oh, that's a fair point. We then continued towards the cornucopia and eventually spotted two players by the river. Wait, there's a team right there. Over here, over here. They're, 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 they're running, they're running, they're running. This could be some hearts right here. Team of two, one with another at chest plate. I need that. And these players were on the same team as Omelette and Freddy, who were the stacked players using Riptide Tridents. So we immediately took our chance to take them down. Hey, guy. Hello. Oh, he's friend. He's friend. He's friend. I'm hey, sorry, Hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. No. No, no. I'm not dying to you. No. I'm sorry, Brenna. No. <laughs> no. Okay, get the heart, I'm gonna go Dead for this pots. guy. I'm going. The other player then started trying to reunite with his teammates, so I tried my best to catch up to him. Hello. I see you. Hello, you should, you should go the other way. I don't think you see me. Oh no. Dude, why did I just... I pulled bear. I got a heart. You tried. Nowhere to run. Oh my god. Dude, what the heck? Oh my god. Okay. No. Well, look who it is again. Hi guys, good. Did we just. Did you kill Frannit? 
he did. Just as I got the kill, his teammates arrived, and all of them immediately threw down potions, preparing to 5v1 me. Come here, server. You are not killing up my teammate and getting away with it. You have that dragon tower. Come here, teammate. Come here. Come here. You can't just kill Drape and friend it like that. I had also only just realized that Dio wasn't with me, so I was in huge danger. Uh, it's, it's only- no. it's, we're already with second to five, so I don't think we're gonna get a good kill there. What? Oh. I don't, I don't know if I feel good about Oh, that sword this, hurts so bad. I think I have 20 hearts. Be free, be free, be free. I'm gonna back out, I don't wanna do this. Wait, look, look, look. If you don't like, feel comfortable, just leave. Okay. If you don't, don't want to fight. 30 like, hearts. Wow. Get away, Silver, get away. Dio was finally getting close to my location to back me up, but I knew there was a huge chance of us dying if we took this fight. I'm here! Dio, run. Dio, run. Dio, run. Run? Just run. run. Trust Dio. me, just run. Just run. They're, they're a team of five. What? You stay with me, Dio. You with me? Yep. Luckily, the enemy players decided to back out, and me and Dio were starting to accept that we stood no chance against these giant teams. However, something was about to completely change the course of this event, and many teams of five would soon get completely broken apart by a certain legendary weapon. And we then started noticing a strange amount of players getting eliminated in chat. We then returned to the base so that we could be near our trap and repaired some of our armor. But eventually, the world border started closing in, and we were forced into the dark oak forest surrounding the cornucopia, with many large teams teams lurking nearby. Pretty sure I just saw the name tag. Oh, text. that is people, that is people, that is people. Up on the tree. Okay, let's just be quiet. It's at least a team of four, they're not all full diamond though. We could try it. I think we do. Do, they, do any of them have a netherite helmet? They do. Nah, dude, I don't I don't think I don't think we do. We're only a team of two, dude. Literally everyone is like a massive team. However, after realizing I still had all of the gold blocks that I'd picked up from Lackey, we were able to craft a lot more golden apples, preparing us for the fighting ahead. They're saying everyone's talking about wardens. What is going on? That's the team we need revenge on. Oh my god, I just had a warden. Wait, who's that, everyone? Oh my god, people being attacked by wardens. Did you just see that? Where? No, where? Straight um, ahead of us. You wanna book it? Yeah, just whatever we do, do not get aggro. Those wardens aggroed on us. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on, man. It must be to do with that hypnosis stuff thing. Nyx Lunary's team had brought their army of wardens and other mobs to the cornucopia, and were slowly taking down the most stacked teams one by one, even though they were just a team of three. And completely terrified of these wardens, Swerving and his teammates were trying to form a giant alliance to take down Nyx's team, and he was now allied with every other player on the server, except for me and Dio, which included Freddy and Omelette's team of five, as they had now joined up with the stacked players that we fought in the end dimension, and King Dylan's team, who were also very stacked, but currently Swerving's team were fighting Nyx's team on the other side of the cornucopia, while Freddy and Omelette's team were traveling through the forest, about to ambush me and Dio. Hey! Yo! Give me back my voice and debris! We're here! Give me back I actually my have a you got a riptide, oh. huh? I then noticed that one of the enemies was separated and started running at him with insane speed as the katana actually had a hidden third ability where it stacks speed levels, causing my speed 2 potion to become speed 3. Hey yo, why me? Hey yo! You're going down, dude. I just want my- I just want my flame to defeat Batman, I don't want to tell you. Just run to the wardens. Hey, help, 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 Bad girl. Oh no. Come on, oh. Our fight then crossed over with the fight between Nyx and Swerving's team, and I started getting worried that Nyx would attack us with her wardens. But they left me and Dio alone and started targeting the players we were fighting. Oh, it's help them, help them, help them, help them. Help us, help us. Oh, oh my god. Oh, dear, dear. Just get out, just get out. Me and Dio had only just realized that Nick's charm and suits were just a team of three, so immediately we planned to ask if they wanted to join up with us so that we could take down Swerving's team. However, they were about to become an even greater threat, as they had just agreed to start cross teaming with Omelette and Freddy's team of five to take down Nick's wardens for good. Wait, so is he again like cross teaming with another person? So knowing that these wardens had to stay alive for us to have a chance of winning, we ran straight towards Nick's team to try to join up with them. These are, these are pitbulls. Like, Yo. Hello. 
Guys, that team of five with the emerald sword are literally unkillable. Oh my god, yeah, it's I hard. know. Our they're they're so, so it's so difficult. I think we yeah, gotta join up. Immediately, we joined up and formed a five-player team. And Swathing's giant cross team started running straight towards us to try to take us down. I, okay, I think we're gonna have sorry. to fight her. Yeah, yeah, we might have to. Yeah, I apologize for the Ooh, darkness. The warden wants me. One of the wardens then went rogue on Dio, and he was forced to retreat. The Swerving's teammates started following him, hoping to single him out. However, all three wardens then locked onto one of the most stacked players in Swerving's team, and we now had a chance to take down one of our biggest threats. Yes! No, don't get bro! Why are there three wardens?! But I can barely see. What in the Minecraft? What in my... Bro, I don't- my water, I can't place it. It's, it might be Jover gamers. Gardens, gamers, be it might be Jover. Help! Oh yes. my god! We'd just taken down one of the strongest players from Swerving's Alliance. And while we were fighting, Dio had been distracting all of the strongest players on Swerving's team and managed to take one of them down, bringing their team to seven players. We're chilling! We're- oh, by the way, these are the cutie patooties. These are our little pipples. Cutie patooties. Please invite us to your team. I can't see anything. Where is Dio? Yo, yo, yo! Dio! I got one of the people on, on Team 28. I, I killed one, I killed one. Huge! Okay. They're gonna invite us to their team, by the way, so we can get- Okay, uh, here, here. Look at the potion. Potion? Oh my god. I've got two more of those. Nyx then disbanded her team to try to form a new one with me and Dio, but this caused her team to lose control of the Wardens, and they started attacking Charm, instantly taking her down. Who just died? Charm. How did she die? I had to make a new team and she did it. She was, wasn't careful. She stood right next to it. So somehow we would have to try to win as a team of four, but the Wardens had slowly been losing health. And during the recent fighting, we had already lost one of them. And after the enemy started firing a few more arrows, another Warden was taken out. So still with seven players remaining in Swerving's team, we had to do whatever we could to take them down quickly while we still had a Warden. We killed one, we killed one, we killed one. One now, one left, one left, one left, and they have nothing, they have nothing. I hear, I hear, I hear, why, why is Silver on me? Go away. Be careful, Silver. Do not die help. ever. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Silver, come what? here, come here. Silver. Why are you after me? I just yeah. want my Go away. Run, 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 run. Everyone run. Everyone run. Everyone run. Kill yes. Lemonade. Kill Lemonade. Hey, help. Help, help. No. I just want my boy to the pre back. That's all oh. I wanted. Kill him in with yes. the oh, Go. No. Nice, that's nice. We've just taken Swerving's team down to six players, and his nearby teammates started getting very intimidated. No. Leave, leave, leave. Oh, oh my god, Dio, your potion is insane. Strength 10! Strength 10, you're what? dead, Freddy! <laughs> yeah, I don't think you have strength 10. I don't think that's happening. Okay, go away, run 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 away. Run away, do not die here. I can't see him. Do not. I can see, I can see. Go away, go away, go run away, run away. Omelette. No, we, no. Are, we are on the only one left. Beavery then threw an ender pearl, and as he was extremely low, he died from full damage, taking Swerving's team down to just five players. No way! We got him! And as Freddy and Omelette then backed out, we had some time to loot the items. Where did he die? He died right here. Oh my god, spare netherite leggings. Is there a spare helmet? Spare netherite helmet! Oh my god. Nice, 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 nice. Hi, gang. Nyx and Suits then finally reunited with us. And now that Swerving's team were back at five players, it was looking like winning was within our reach. But on the other side of the cornucopia, Swerving's team had just met up with King Dylan's team of four and formed another cross team, who then started heading straight towards us to take us down. They're coming, by the way. Oh my they're, god. Well, that's more than five. That's yeah, more than five they're, people. They're all, cross -teaming, they're all cross teaming against us. It's us versus them. The nine player team then started bowing our only remaining warden, and Nyx was forced to retreat back to the cornucopia to get the warden to safety. But as we had no idea where she went, we ended up trying to take down a separated player from the enemy team while she was being attacked by all of the other players. Someone's here, someone's here, someone's here. Oh, there's one, hey. behind us, one behind us. Where's the next one? This guy has to be done. Woo! Dude, how is he not dead? I don't know. He dies here though, he dies Oh here. my He's god, there's out. so many of you. My Jesus Christ, where did everyone go? We then chased Farallon through the cornucopia, and we spotted Nyx on the other side, who luckily was still safe. And we then found out that while she was fighting, Nyx had been using her trident to outmaneuver Swerving's team, and managed to take down not one, but two of them with her warden, completely turning the tables of this fight. Oh, oh never mind. Shoot, oh, my dropping. warden just killed someone again. Oh my god, no <laughs> way. And now with just seven players against us, our hopes of winning became even higher. I need help, server's on me, I need help, I need help, Freddy, I need help. You you are solo in that Silver's regard. Silver zombie, Silver zombie. You are solo in that regard. Silver, go away. Please. Uh, I think it's chasing me. You're gonna die. No. Get him, Warden. 
He's notching, he's notching. Just hit through, through it, not. hit through it. Nice. nice. I call him in a cold He has to oh, die. He doesn't sorry, though. Where'd he go? just go? Did he pearl? He's over here, he's over here. I see him. Run away, run away. I have angles, I can give him. If they get oh, Silver's behind, behind you, Silver's behind you. Yeah, I can't fight him. Oh, he did first. Uh, he's stuck in webs. He's gonna die. He dies here. He just, he does not, he, how does he get out? Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Shut up. Shut up. Focus, Nick, no hey, hop off my teammate. Fight. Hey, that's not very nice. Got him, got him, got him. Nice. No. Theo then finally took down Firelin, reducing their numbers even further. But he then started getting focused by their entire team and was getting very close to dying. Focus, Theo, focus, Theo. He's so low. He's so low. My sword. He's, he's dead here. He's another, dead another couple. He, he, he has more. He has more. He's. He, he's out of notches. He's out of notches. He's out of notches. But I then finally got an opportunity to take down Swerving. He's still looking. Oh no. He's done. Oh no, oh no, no, no! Let's go, let's go. How many gamblers do you have, Swerving? Yeah, but he's Somehow, Swerving just about managed to survive, and my own teammate then trapped me in cobwebs, not realizing who I was, and Swerving managed to get away. Oh, that's sorry, Silver, sorry, Silver. But we then started singling out one of his teammates. Please don't kill me! Yo, 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 Swerving, Swerving. Where are you at? Oh my god, okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good job, good job, good job. 27 gaps. And finally, they were down to just five players, now without anyone left to cross team with. So, the final battle was about to begin. However, the players we now had to face were by far the most dangerous on the server. And now that all of our wardens were gone, this fight would be very difficult. And currently, they were sharing out potions, preparing for their final attack. Oh boy, I'm. I'm this oh, they team. Have potions. It's time to. Oh, wait, do we have any potions. pods left? No. I have none. They're oh, oh, they definitely have pods. They're looking up to the They have them. the yeah, potions that give you wither and make you float. Alright. Oh my god, Pudfish Cannon. Immediately, I started targeting the player with the weakest armor, trying to turn the tables of this fight. What the hell? Gideo, Gideo, Gideo. Teleport. Gideo, Gideo. Gideo, Gideo. Why are you guys so, like, you all want me at all times? Yes, because Good. you're you you oh might die. Actually. And as soon as I saw her running into the Colosseum, I took my chance to take her down. Get, get the Larry, get the Larry, get the Larry. Yo, chill. This is it. This is it for me. No, please, no. Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Get, get her! She, she, she dies! She dies! She dies! She dies! Yes! Nice, 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 nice. There were now just four enemies remaining, but when we turned towards them, Nyx was nowhere to be seen, and one of them was holding her hypnosis star. Just keep uh, help out, Nyx. I don't have any of time. Oh my I god, Nyx died! Nyx was now gone, and we would somehow have to win as a team of three. So we now had to do everything we could to take one of them down and even out the numbers. Go, 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 go! Exactly. I can't get out with cops. He's spotted. I'm getting crit out by- Oh, I need help. Silver's putting me out. I then saw the perfect opportunity to 2v1 Swerving, but out of nowhere he killed Sue. No! I'm apples. Nice! No. Nice, no. nice, nice! We can win this! Kill Theo! Kill You have no kill chance! Kill Theo! Kill Theo! Kill Theo! Kill Theo! All this time, you can't kill me! I'm Dude, invincible! You're not winning! You have no chance! Bye bye, bye Theo! Kill Theo! Kill Theo! Kill Theo! Oh my god, I got one! Scout! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! I just lost Dio, and now had to face all three players by myself. So I then picked up the hypnosis stuff, as well as a potion of strength that also gave slowness, and when all three of them started running towards me, I decided to drink it, hoping the strength would be enough to take down Swerving, but this also meant there was no way I could back out. Oh, he's back! This is it, Silver! All our teammates we've killed! Is Silver back? Go, 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 Brats, go! Sea Watch, King Wooly, everyone! Get these mobs! You're dead! You have no chance! You have three wardens! But I just couldn't deal enough damage, and sadly I wasn't able to get the win for my team. Ah, oh, dude.
GG. But although I didn't manage to win this time, in my other videos on screen, I've had a ton of other crazy final battles, so you should definitely check them out for more stories like this. And if you want to experience events like this for yourself, join my server, hotplate.gg, and join our battle royale game mode to try out all of the legendary weapons from this video.